All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope everyone is doing good. I'm sorry I was late, uh, but not because I am late, really, but um, Google have a problem with recognizing my software for broadcasting. Uh, please invite your friends, and uh, as you see uh, the title today, supposedly, we will have uh, a debate with someone, the Muslims in Nigeria, they think he is a big shot. And always I have fear from those who they are big shot. I mean, put yourself in my shoes. A big shot versus a Christian prince. Hmm. Uh, before we start today, uh, I want to share my condolence to the Muslims about the attack happened by the cockroaches uh, to the Kaaba. I felt really sad. And I hope and we pray that Allah will send his army to defend the Kaaba against this suspicious attack, which might be involved the Jews, I think, or maybe the Christians. We know that these days you can control insects. So I will not be surprised if behind this attack may be a Christian prince and his team or the Jews or you never know. Anyway, it's a holy uh, ground, and I think Allah will defend it. The same he defended the Kaaba when Al Qurmuti he came and he destroyed the Kaaba and he took the black stone for more than 21 years. And the Muslims have to pay back the man ransom so he will release the black stone. And he gave them small eight pieces, which means he did not even give them the stone. They claim it is exist there. Anyway, I hope this news will not uh, happen uh, often because that's not really right. I mean, if you go even to Las Vegas, they find a solution to fight cockroaches. And the money of Saudi Arabia, all the money in the world could not stop these cockroaches from attacking. And they are saying it's a cockroaches and a crickets and locust. It looks like they are teaming up together, those enemy of Allah, and attacking the Kaaba. And this is absolutely a conspiracy against the true God. Uh, <clears throat> my Skype is open for the one who want to call me to uh, set up this debate. So please don't text me. I receive a lot of texts, a lot of calls for no reason. And most of them, they are silly. I use my Skype for a reason, which is to make Muslims call me. Not to receive, hi, hello, how are you? add me you do not need to add me i do not need to add you unless you are a person who want to debate me you know i close my email in, uh, in in facebook because of this i open my email i find like two thousand emails and i mean now you, you need to filter and to see which one of them is important somebody who need your help um <clears throat> Anyway, so please don't send me text. Uh, hi, hello, add me. How are you, Christian Prince? I am Munadara, and if him wish, man al Munadara. Yeah, you know, the, the Faris, he says, Do you know even what debate mean? Let me show you what debate mean according to Islam. You will die laughing. I mean, look who is talking. A Muslim talking. Do you know what debate mean? Hmm. Let me show you. This is what debate mean according to your God. The one who cannot stop the cockroaches from attacking your Kaaba. Chapter 3, verse number one, uh, verse number 61. This is the debate uh, form of Islam. And this debate form proving to us that Muhammad is nothing but a false prophet, and you Muslims will never be able to debate anyone. According to Muhammad, according to his God, sorry, not Muhammad, Muhammad is just a servant of Allah, and he say what Allah said to him, as you know. So according to Allah, he said, if somebody came to you to debate you, about what? This is the verse about Jesus, by the way. Do this. Tell them, 
I bring your females, I bring my females, I bring your children, I bring my children, bring your goat, I bring my goat, I bring your Lamborghini, I bring my, 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 my Jaguar. I bring your camel, I bring my camel, I bring your goat, I bring my goat, I bring your kids, I bring my kids, I bring your neighbor, I bring my neighbor, and let us invoke Allah to curse the one is lying. Have you ever heard of hilarious debate like this? So this is how Islamic debate work. After you invite all the neighborhood and your wives, and by the way, the funny here, he is challenging them to bring their wives, and those are bishops. They don't have wives. Those are Christian monks. They don't marry. So bring your wives, I bring my wives, I bring your children, bring my children, bring, bring, bring. what children, what wives? They want to debate you about Jesus. What about what? What invoke Allah to curse though? They don't even believe in Allah. And now this is what we do. I give the microphone to Mimi, Muhammad Hijab. Mimi, he hold the mic. He said, show me, answer me, silence me. I invoke curse of Allah over me if you show me. Okay, now the time is like for Christian Prince. Christian Prince, he take the mic, he says, I will show you. I will silence you. And I will bring the curse of Allah over you. Your turn. Okay. Show me. I invoke Allah to cut my toes if I'm lying. Your turn. I mean, what a gay debate, man. What is that? And you, Faris, you are saying to me, I do not know what debate is about. Go and teach your prophet first how debate works. Now let us hope that this Abdul today, the guy from Nigeria, he will uh, he will uh, he will do it. Unbelievable! Actually, I was thinking not to come today, appear online because I'm scared. You should see this guy when he speak in uh, in the stage. He have like twenty thousand people listening to him in the stage. And he is singing. Hoo-ha, hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Okay, and Allah knows best what he is saying. And those naive Nigerian who do not know one word in Arabic, and he himself who do not know what he's talking about, Allahu Akbar Takbir, Alhamdulillah. That's the only thing they know about Islam. Hold on, hold on. A Muslim is saying something to me in Arabic. I need to use the Google translation. أقول اقرأ كتابك أول شيء يا ولد يا الفارس The funny he called himself the boy Faris <laughs> I mean if you call yourself a boy What about you bring me your dad then You could not find better name from calling yourself a ولد Faris The boy MashaAllah Now, by the way, supposedly we will receive the call at 3 o'clock, not 2.30. But I said to myself, let me open uh, earlier. So guys, you can give me hugs and I can give you hugs. Because we Christians, we present the word that we are people who give hugs. Give hugs. You know, this is what Christians they try to say to you. Christianity is about giving hugs, which is not true. And by the way, there's a guy he's upset from me. Because he said, we don't worship the man, we worship Jesus, the God in the flesh of the man. We worship the divine God. And he's saying, this is, this is not true, this is not true, this is not true, my friends. So what, don't, you, don't we Christians believe that Christ is 100% man and 100% God? So we worship God in that man, the 100% God. We don't worship a man. God is not a man. God, he become a man. So there's many silly people that try to think instead of squeezing or scratching their head, they scratch their eye. Um, what surah this surah is? This is a chapter 3, verse number 61. This is the chapter of Ali Amran which means chapter of the family of Jesus. Muhammad, he think that al Umran are the family of Jesus. So Musa is al Umran. Aaron is al Umran. 
Isaac is Alu Umran. Jacob is Alu Umran. Family, you know, family. It's a family, you know, familia. You know, this is the Italian mafia, you know. All of them, they are Alu Umran. I mean, Umran is the father of all those guys. Are you sure, Muhammad? I want to know where Muhammad he got his knowledge from. So according to Muhammad, Musa was a bambino from the family of Omran. Aaron was from the family of Omran. Mary was from the family of Omran. Jesus from the family of Omran. I mean, who? What? What's wrong with you, Muhammad? All of those they have a father. His name is Omran. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are we alive? Sure we are alive. Do you think we are dead? Now we are waiting for the call from the Bambino, the Muslim scholar. And we hope he will do it. Invite your friends, please. And let us see what this guy will say. <coughs> you know, always I, I try to speak to Muslims in a logic, but the Muslims, they have their own logic. Which is not logical at all. You see, God cannot be a man, but God can be a leg. I mean, so you refuse God for being a man or coming as a man, but you accept God for he is in origin as a leg. You refuse God to have five fingers in his hand, but you accept your Allah have five fingers in his hand. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder what Muslims are thinking about. You see, when you when you ask Muslims or you talk about Islam, you think those Muslims they are people who believe in, um, um, let us say, um, in in different kind of divine, like he is a spiritual divine. But this is not the case. Muslims believe in a physical divine who is not a spirit. So what this drama is about? Your God is a physical being. And this is how his origin is, is not how he became or become. This is how he is. So for you as a Muslim, you believe in a physical being, you call him God, and yet you refuse God in Christianity who is not a physical being, who come to us in the flesh of a physical being. How weird that religion is. But obviously, Muslims are confused because they are following a confused prophet. And we are here, and we will show you that every Muslim, he is confused until he proved the opposite. And by the way, I never saw a Muslim, he is not confused. You must be a confused, literally, the second you say, I'm a Muslim. To the point, if we ask a Muslim what it does mean to be a Muslim, everyone, he give you his own definition. Are you aware? No, Christian Prince is not aware. I mean, look at James here. He's saying to me something I just learned from you, James. CP, are you aware of Dabba, the beast of the earth? No, I just learned that from you. Thank you, James, for telling me. James, where you been, man? I was waiting for somebody to tell me about this for a long time, my friend. We are waiting for 
the call so we can start the debate with our friend from Nigeria. And a Muslim, Alhamdulillah. Hello. And a Muslim, Alhamdulillah. Hello. Uh, um, hello, Christian Prince. Mute you too, please. <laughs> um, how are you? Uh, Muslim, Alhamdulillah. Okay. Um, hold on, please. Let me call. Let me call him, and I'll okay. connect you to him. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay, guys, he's trying to contact the Sheikh. So we can have a nice conversation with him. You have $17. <laughs> Our friend here, he is going to spend a lot of money to make this call, actually. You can tell he is losing credit. Okay, my friend, what about you call him? When you, when you hook up with him, you can call me in Skype right away. Is that okay? I think he's not listening. You have three hours, 45 minutes remaining for this call. Thank you for using Boss Revolution. Your current team do not have sufficient credits to complete this call. Dial star 331 hash. Withdraw credit and complete your call. Your current team do not have the. You have $17.60. Oh, hey, my friend, are you there? Okay, I will hang up on you. Call me when you are ready. We don't want to spend the day saying, hearing that you have $17 left in your credit. <laughs> this is exactly how the Muslims, they pray to Allah. Each time you pray to Allah, Allah, he adds some to your credit, my friend. And then you might lose your credit if you have a dog in your house. I mean, I mean this is really disgusting. Why you want to destroy your credit, which Allah, he put in your account after praying for a long time, and now you want to buy a, a puppy and put him in your house and will make you lose the credit? Come on. <clears throat> Don't do that. Uh, Okay, let us see. Uh, 
I mean, people they ask me questions in the Skype. One day I'm going to rip Skype off pieces. People, if you see guys the text I receive, I mean, it's the most silly, stupid text ever you can imagine. I am not sure what people eat before they text me. I don't know. I don't know. Don't make me stop using uh, Skype. You know, I, I, this is what I did in, in Facebook. I give up and I stop. I, I, I block my email because I can't take it no more. I mean, emails are really funny. Uh, we are just waiting for the Abdul to uh, to contact with uh, with him, and may Allah He protect him and give him all the wisdom because he need a lot of wisdom. By the way, Muslims, you have wisdom or wisdom? I don't know. For me, it took like wiz and dumb. I don't see wisdom. As I remember, your prophet himself he needed a surgery to install wisdom in his chest. Is that correct? How many of you had this surgery until now? No, not dumb, not dumb. Wisdom. I think my accent is not uh, because I'm Scottish. That's why you guys don't understand my accent. I mean, you go to England, people in England don't speak English, by the way. We are the Arab. We are the one who made English. Shakespeare, he was a Sheikh Isper. You know that, right? We are the one We are the one who made English. We are the one who made Latin. We are the one who made the French, you know? Like even pizza, you know, we are the one who made pizza. I'm not going to give you the recipe now. Just between us, secret, you know, just YouTube, Facebook, etc. But don't share it with everybody. Absolutely. We are the Arab, we discover everything. You know? Until now, until now, none of you knows how to bring somebody to your embassy and cut him pieces. We are the first. <laughs> you know, I mean... <laughs> I feel sorry for you. You go to get a visa or a paper inside our embassy, we cut you pieces. And then we send you like, a, you know, we make you cans and we put you in tuna. That's a discovery. This is, I mean, this is not, uh, this is amazing. Beautiful. Hmm? We are waiting for the caller from the Sheikh from uh, why well, we have only 858 people here. Okay, okay. If we bring you a belly dancer and she is going to teach you how to do belly dancing and she wear a short skirt, you will see how big the number will be. There's a program I downloaded. I forgot the name. I really forgot the name. And I said to myself, maybe I can use it to link my broadcast, but it doesn't work because it's a phone and you have to open the camera. And I look at the at the broadcast, which have a huge viewers, you know, 3,000 people watching live, 4,000 people. And you will see a woman, she is trying her jeans. She bought a new jeans and she's trying her new jeans and she have like three, 4,000 people watching. Should I try new jeans? All right. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I am with you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Prince. Yes, I hear you. I hear you. Hello, Mr. Prince. I hear you. Don't you hear me? Hold on. Uh, no. Uh, let, hold on. Let me. I'm connecting in. Hello, Christopher. I hear you. I'm here. 
Hello. Uh oh. I don't know how the debate will work. Because he is connecting the phone to his Skype. I'm not sure how he can do it, but he will do it. <clears throat> now you know those uh, those men who do business in Africa, in Philippines, and they claim to be scholars. You will notice immediately that they know nothing about their cult. Oh. Missed call. Okay, let me call him back. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, he's calling from different number now. I'm not sure. Yes, my friend, do you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, so are we, uh, are you connected with him or not yet? Uh, hey, Mr. Ustara Jamil uh, from Nigeria on the other line. Um, that want to debate you. And um, uh, um, this, Christopher, can you hear me, Mr. Ustara? Can you hear me, sir? Mr. Jamil, can you hear me? Okay, um, the uh, Christian Prince, um, I said that uh, I will bring you in to debate with him, um, on Quran. So, um, now you can both talk because you told me to bring my senior pastor, so I have it here today. So, if you can debate now, Christian Prince, this is the Mr. Usa from uh, Usa from Nigeria, and that's Christian Prince right there. All right, Mr. Usa, do you hear me, Mr. Usa? Do you hear me, Mr. Usa? Hello, Christopher. Hello? Yes. I can hear you. How are you doing, Mr. You? Usa? Assalamu alaikum. So, Mr. Usa, I've been told that you are a person who is a scholar in Islam, but I want to ask you as a start when you say to me, Assalamu alaikum, that means peace be upon you. Is that correct? So why the angel Jibreel, when he came to Muhammad, did not say to him, peace be upon you? I did not understand what? Why the angel Jibreel, when he came to Muhammad, did not say to him, peace to you? Assalamu alaikum. I don't understand, my friend. You say his name is Jamua Adegua. Is is introduced? Is asking your name? I don't understand what he's saying. He said, "What is your name?" My name is a Christian. My name is a Christian prince. He said his name is Christian. Did he hear yes. my question? Why the angel Jibreel, when he came to Muhammad, did not say to him, Assalamu alaikum? Yeah, you can hear you. Yeah, I said, Christian is what he means. I know when you have been baptized, uh, but mm. you are not as a man. Yes. Can you hear me? You can hear you. Yeah. 
Uh, my yeah. friend, I cannot really understand what he's saying. Can you make the sound more clear? I don't know if he can. Okay, let me. I'm working on it. He's, he's asking, what is your name? He's trying to. I told him, I told him my name. My name is a Christian prince. Okay, should I change my name for him? My name is Muhammad ibn Abdullah. I mean, what does that have to do with the question? Answer the question why the angel Jibreel, when he came to Muhammad, did not say to him, Assalamu alaikum. Tell him, please. Yes. Now, ask him uh, my friend ask him do he have a skype do your friend have a skype so we can call him in skype okay, okay. he said you have a skype Okay, he said no. Oh, he, can download, he can download the Skype. It takes two minutes because the sound is not clear, so we can understand each other. Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. So okay, let us say maybe you can explain to me what he's saying. You can you can repeat what he said. So what okay, he said about why the angel did not say assalamu alaikum to Muhammad when so he said to him when he came to him Hassan first time. Muhammad. Why? Uh, uh, angel did not say salam alaikum to Muhammad when he came to him in the cave. We cannot start on that thing. Yeah. But I need to know Fandi. The Bible belongs to the critic and the king. And the Quran and also the movie, as we also claim that if any monkey to not understand the Quran, they start in level. How will you dabble into the Bible? And that's that. So I can put the money on a fan, what is that? And to explain what the Quran is. That's what I understand what he's saying. Can you explain? Right. Before, he, say, um, before he double into Quran, I think you need to know what the Bible says. Is that what you are saying? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not. I'm just no, asking I'm not. a very simple question. Why the angel Jibreel did not say Assalamu alaikum to Muhammad when this is supposedly the greeting of Islam? Muhammad is a Muslim, he is a prophet of Islam. The angel came to him, but he did not say to him Assalamu alaikum. The question why the angel did not say the greeting of Islam to Muhammad? <laughs> That when in the Gabriel came to Muhammad, that is the Quran. So why is going the Quran? What? So let me read your Bible. Then to our to the Quran. I want to know if you really know. So I will not be being good on or. Um, I think the, 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 um, the, the volume is not really clear. Do you do you hear him? I don't understand a word from what he's saying. I'm sorry. I have Hello? No, I have no idea what he's saying. Can you translate? Hello? 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 Hello?
Can you call him directly? I don't have his number. I don't have his number. So uh, you can, you, 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 I don't have his number. So can you hear him now? Or you can, he, he told you to download Sky. You can download Sky. Okay, but okay, okay, ask him now whatever thing you want to ask him. Maybe he can hear you now. Ask him. Okay, now. My third question is. My third question is. Hello. Yeah, he's hearing you. He's hearing you. If God gives your creator, the Christopher Priest, the other, you say, is it God, G O D, your creator? Why he's not answering about what I said? I mean, what, what, why, why he is switching? We just ask him a very simple question: Why the angel did not say "Assalamu alaikum" to Muhammad when he met him? If this is an angel of God, why he did not say to him "Assalamu alaikum"? Do he understand my question? What is? Do you believe in God? Is he created for sure? I am a Christian. I am not an atheist. So, what does this have to do with the question? So let us make it simple, my friend. You are trying to avoid my question. Why the angel, when he came to Muhammad, did not say to him, Assalamu alaikum? Very simple question. Please go ahead and answer. And that's your time. I said, show me in the Quran. What are you? When the angel came to Muhammad, and the Lord said, Assalamu alaikum, show me in the Quran. Okay, you show me in the Quran, he said, Assalamu alaikum. Show me in the Quran that he said assalamu alaikum because if it doesn't show in the Quran you just answer yourself If the Quran does not say that the, the, the angel said to him assalamu alaikum It's mean he did not say assalamu alaikum You just you just to prove yourself wrong Show me in the Quran show me in the Quran where the angel he said to Muhammad assalamu alaikum It's you who should show me. I'm asking you why the angel did not say assalamu alaikum. Show me if you believe in the Quran. Show me in the Quran where the angel said to Muhammad assalamu alaikum when he came to him in the cave. What? Is translate, please. He said he don't, he said he don't know um, that. Um, where the angel said to, to uh, Muhammad Salam Aleikum that he said he don't know. He don't know. So he do not know why he did not say Assalamu Alaikum, correct? Yes, he said that. Okay. Well, if 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 an angel is from God, then he should speak with God a greeting because this is God a greeting. So if Jibreel did not say Assalamu Alaikum, when the angel came to Mary, he said to her, Assalamu alaikum, ya Maryam. He said to her, Salam to you, Mary. Shalom to you, Mary. And this is because he is the angel of God. When Muhammad, he have an angel, he did not say, Assalamu alaikum, because he is not the angel who bring peace from God. For simply, he is not an angel of God. He is Satan himself. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, can you show me in the Quran that well, you, you're funny. You are saying to me, Can you show me in the Quran that the angel did not say Assalamu alaikum? You show me that he said, Show me, show me where in the Quran it says he said Assalamu alaikum. You show me, go ahead. <laughs> you show me where in the Quran it says Assalamu alaikum. He did not. Same time, you know, as, as long as we are talking about Muhammad, he said Assalamu alaikum or not, isn't it Muhammad? He confessed that Shaitan, he gave him command. He said that Shaitan, he gave me command. And here is we hear that Muhammad saying it clearly that he is a person who take command not from God but from Shaitan. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Okay, I, I will I will give you the hadith number and you will read it for us. Let's see if this is true or not. This is the hadith in front of us. Please don't don't give me, don't say to me you are lying. We speak in respect here. I did not call your names. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 2814A. Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 2814A. The Prophet, he said, 
that every one of us have a shaitan but yet they ask him prophet do you have a shaitan too he said yes but Allah helped me against him and so I am safe from his hand and he does not command me but for good and I am showing that in the screen if my brother here he can give you YouTube you can see the hadith in the screen and you can read it yourself so you're a prophet he agree that he received command from the devil and that explain why the devil when he came to him he did not say to him assalamu alaikum for you for he is satan can you tell me what he said i don't understand he said he can't hear your voice on your sh he can't hear his voice on your show because he's listening to you <laughs> Well, well, he can call me in Skype so we can hear each other each other better why he is a stubborn I mean download the Skype will take you to a second and Call me in Skype and that will save you from being in the middle You can be you can join us in the group to to explain in, in case you need to But let him call me in Skype However, the hadith you, you tell him what I said my friend tell him in, <laughs> tell him in Sahih Muslim hadith number 2814a Sahih Muslim hadith number 2814a Muhammad he said that shaitan he command him to do good So what kind of a prophet he is following that shaitan command him to do good? How good can come as command from shaitan? Tell him please He said Satan command uh, can you, uh, can, uh, Mr. Jamie, please he said Satan command Muhammad. I think you said that uh, mr. Jamie, you don't believe in Adif. Is that what you are saying or what? No, no. Yeah, I think that I've got to read the Quran. I don't believe in it. Okay. Which one do you want? What adif do you want? Which one do you want from me? Any adif, either from Buhari or from Muslim. Well, this is from Muslim. This is from Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim 2814. You agree with is Muslim? It? This is Muslim. Here we go. This is Muslim. Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 2814A. He, 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 uh, Christopher, he said the, the one that contradicts the, 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 the Quran that he don't want that. My friend, so where one? where it says this one is contradict the Quran? Show me the verse in the Quran. It says contradict the Quran. What is what he is talking about? Where it says this is contradict the Quran? He says show. He says show. He says show him where he contradict Quran. Right? When angel came to Muhammad, he's getting angry. He's getting angry. I will make a sandwich and come back. Hold on. Tell me what he's saying. Tell me. He say. He say he don't. Be, he, he, he's not in the Quran. It's not in the Quran. Okay. Tell me. Let me. Let us see how much he know his religion. Which which verses in the Quran is speaking about Muhammad receiving the angel Jibril in the cave? Which verses in the Quran speak about Muhammad and Jibreel coming to him in the cave? Which verses? As long as he claimed to be a scholar. Mr. Jamil, Mr. Jamil, can you listen? Let, let me, let me. Mr. Jamil, he said, what verse in Quran that said? I bet you he did not know. I, I, I say, what do you say? Okay. 
no, no, no. The, uh, 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 he said, listen, 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 listen. Don't, don't, uh, don't run, Mr. Jamie, don't run away from him. You said last time when we, we talked, you said you don't want to talk about Quran. You said you don't want to talk to Quran about talk to it with me. And I said, I'm going to bring him in. No, that's what you said. You said you don't want to talk to me about Quran. So now there's somebody here is asking you, show him in the in the Quran where the angel talked to Muhammad. No, he said, where is it? Where is in Quran? Where is it in Quran? Where in the Quran, the angel, he came to him in the cave, specifically in the cave. Do he knew? If you do not know, I can help him. He said, where is it come to him? They came to him in Quran in the cave. He said, answer that. If you are denying the hadith, that you should tell him where in Quran that the angel came to Muhammad in the cave in the Quran. I don't know what you say, but answer him. Whatever, whatever story you see. Which, where in the Quran the story of the cave can appear? Where in the Quran you claim to be a scholar, and obviously you do not know your book. This is why you keep talking, the repeating the same thing. Where in the Quran the story of the cave appear? The mic is yours. Why, why are you uh, trying to avoid what is asking you? Is there anything? This, this is the word of God. You want to defend your your true word of God. Answer him if it's true. Answer my him. Friend, my friend, my friend, let's make it simple. I'm asking you just a very simple question. Where in the Quran the verse is speaking about Muhammad receiving Quran in the cave? Do you know? Either you say I know or you say I do not know. Please, there's no need for this drama. Which verses in the Quran, which chapter, which verses speaking about the angel coming to Muhammad in the cave? Very simple. I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm not fighting with you. I'm trying to learn from you. You are the scholar, my friend. You are the one who wear a suit, go in the stage, speak to 10,000 people, Nigerian, trying to say to them, I am a scholar. Listen to me. Here we go. I want to listen to you. Can you give me the verses in the Quran where it says that the angel came to Muhammad in the cave? Can you please? I'm listening. You. I said, angel said that to Muhammad. And that's not mean that that angel is angel of you. It's not. I want to know let us make it short do he knew or he do not know i mean what is this talk is about do he knew he said do you know or not simple he said do you know is whether yes or no he, he, no, he said, let me repeat it again. He said, tell him where in the story in the Quran, where the angel, it, about the cave. He said, do you know where in the Quran about the cave? Where? He said, Quran, you hear that? Um, Christian, he said Quran 96, he says uh, Quran chapter 96, right? He said Quran chapter 96? Chapter, yeah, he said Quran chapter 96. Okay, Quran chapter 96. Tell us what it says there. I did not see what, what he's talking about. Chap Quran chapter 96. Where in 96? He said where in 96? Where it says that in 96. That is, yeah. that, that is the most funny answer ever I heard all my life. 
where where the story that he came to him in the cave I'm not asking okay even even there the one you caught for me he did not say to him assalamu alaikum you are a person who said you don't accept anything contradict the Quran and I ask you show me where Muhammad the angel said to him assalamu alaikum he did not say to him assalamu alaikum read in the name of your Lord اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأقرم الذي علم بالقلم علم بالإنسان ما لم يعلم كلا إن الإنسان ليطغى where he said to him السلام عليكم so you got yourself busted nowhere there this is exactly what the angel he said to 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 him according to you right and this is your answer you you only want to choose the answer so where here he said to him السلام عليكم it's not in the Quran. What are you going to say? It's not in the Quran. So, so okay, you are the one who said to me, you don't take anything contradict the Quran. As long as it's not in the Quran, that means if somebody said that the angel said, Assalamu alaikum, you should not accept the Quran then, or you should not accept the hadith. So, this is mean you confirm to me that Muhammad never, never heard Assalamu alaikum from the angel because you are the one who said you don't take anything contradict the Quran. Well, this is the Quran. The Quran did not mention that Muhammad he hear the angel saying to him assalamu alaikum So now you explain to me as long as you believe that the Quran is telling the truth Why the angel say, did not say to Muhammad assalamu alaikum What? Is it, is it why did it not say salam alaikum? Is that what you're saying? Why? Why in why the angel did not say assalamu alaikum? If he is an angel of God, he should he should bring the peace of God to his prophet. He should not come to him without saying assalamu alaikum because this is supposedly the Islamic greeting. Even Muslims they have obligation to say assalamu alaikum to each other when they enter upon each other. So how about angel of God is speaking to the most important man Allah He created? His name is Muhammad, supposedly according to Muslims. Why the angel did not say to him assalamu alaikum? He say, um, Are you done? Okay. Yes, it's done. Yeah. I said in Quran, why? It's not a story book like the Bible. Why would you say it's a story book? Every detail of the game were written. What did you want? Tell me what he said. I don't understand him. Uh, saying, uh, can I explain to him because he can't hear you better? Can I explain to him? He said, um, the reason is that uh, I don't know what I'm still talking. So he says the reason that. Uh, um, that um, they did not say salam alaikum. That the Bible, the Quran, is not a detail um, like the um, like the Bible that we have all this story in detail. That that's why I did not say salam alaikum to you. Um, that is that is very funny. That's very funny because if you claim that the Bible is detailed and the the Quran is not detailed, that's mean you Muslims you drop some of the story out of the story. What you are saying now is very dangerous. You just said that looked like he said assalamu alaikum, but it does not show up in the Quran. So you Muslims, you corrupted your Quran and you took off assalamu alaikum off. Why you are not putting what the angel says as it is? If he said assalamu alaikum, who gave you the right to take it off? You just accuse your book to be a corrupt book. 
Secondly, the details we can find it in the hadith. The hadith is still does not say he said to him, Assalamu alaikum. He came to Muhammad and he started squeezing him three times. Now, as long you are in this ability to answer and you have no idea except saying the Bible is book of details, the Quran is a book of, of uh, like it's a magazine. There's, there's no details there. Thank you very much for saying that. And this is why we cannot call the Quran a book, but we can call the Bible a book because a book is the one who give a details. A magazine is the one who give us short stories. Thank you for saying that. Now, let me ask you, when the angel came to your prophet, if he is an angel of God, why he was squeezing him forcing him to read why he did that do you know why he squeezed him three times no no the angel never never turned to muhammad one it's not in the quran that the angel family two the angel Translate, please, or tell me what he said. Um, what, what what he said? He said, he said, Quran. He said, Quran. He said, the Bible is not the word of God, hmm. and I mean that he's saying that the Quran is better than the um, than the Bible. That's okay. what he's saying. Okay. Well, tell him then. Tell him to take a break from talking because he keep talking, saying nothing. He said, you should talk so slowly. You say talk uh, slowly, slowly. Okay. The Quran said. The Quran says in chapter two, verse number. 41 the Quran says we agree and confirm what you have with you so how he say that the Quran is better than the Bible same time the Quran says that we agree in what you have with your hands that's mean you Muslims you are accusing your God Allah to be a liar all the verses in front of us in the screen saying it clearly that the Quran confirm what they have with them so and when you say to me that the Quran is better than the Bible the Bible is not the book of God and then the Quran says that Allah is the one who said the Bible and then the Quran says we agree and we confirm what you have with you as a Bible that mean that you are against Muhammad and against his religion because I confirm in what was what is with you so you are saying clearly that you don't believe in the Quran and you are the one who said to me You don't agree with anything contradict the Quran now I want you to show me where in the Quran it says that the Bible is not correct Okay, talk slowly you can hear you talk slowly you can hear you uh, Okay, okay, okay now Quran 
c'est pas méchant, mais il dit, c'est son problème du crypto. À son outil, la cour d'entente est pour un, il va y avoir mort. Il pense qu'il y a eu un crypto qui est pris. Il parle de la cour d'entente, il dit, 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 you need to repeat to me what he said by the way I, I, I hear nothing I don't understand anything can you repeat again can you, can you tell me what he said Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jamil, please, uh, that your voice, you are listening to the YouTube. All of this to answer me, I mean, what is the answer? What is it? My friend, uh, I, I, and there's no way we can continue this way. You have, uh, if you want to continue, he can speak for two minutes. You tell me what he said, and then he can continue, because okay. now we will forget what he said. He's speaking for the last ten minutes, and now you are going to tell me what he said because I didn't understand what he's saying. So tell me what he said. Tell him to, to take a break. Tell me what he said already, and then if okay. you want to continue or say more, he can continue. No problem. But because I don't understand what he's saying, can you tell me what he said? Mr. Uh, Mr. Jamie, Mr. Jamie, he said he said you should take it um because um you know the connection is very bad. Like uh, you can just say your word and so he so he can pick on on what you are saying. So okay, can you repeat what you say again in a short word? So he, okay. 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 Okay, then it, tell him to read for us a chapter 2, verse number 89. He says you read chapter 2. Chapter 2, verse number 89. He said you never confirm the Quran, never confirm the Bible to be the book of God. Then read for us a chapter 2, verse number 89 right now. 89, okay. He says, I went to today, the book of the Quran is with them, although for the old. Is he reading the verse? Yes, he's reading. Okay. Does it say that Allah is confirming what is in their position? Does it say that? What? What? What he said? He said it's not the Bible. He said it's in jail. Injil, thank you very much. This is the this is our book. A book that is called the Injil. The, the book of the Christian is called Injil. This guy is ignorant. We don't have something that's called the Bible. The Bible is a book of books. The Injil is the Gospels of Jesus. This guy, he do not know what he's talking about. So the Injil is the Gospel of Jesus. The Torah is the book of Moses. Thank you very much. So he just said that the Quran confirmed the Gospels of Jesus to be accurate, which was in the position of the Christians. So how you say to me the Quran never confirm the Bible when this is the Bible the Bible is book of books if we say only the New Testament we say the gospel if we mix and we say the Bible all the books we say the Bible because this is book of books obviously you do not know what are you talking about now as long your Quran confirm the angel do you have the angel of Jesus Thank you. do you have it do you have the angel of Jesus Nobody has in jail. So how Allah confirm? He says, I confirm what is in your position. If it is not in their position, you are you just said to me, nobody have the injil, but the Quran verse saying, confirm what is in their position. So who is of you lying now? You or Allah? 
I don't understand. Can you tell me what he said? Can you repeat what he said, but please? You you repeat, not him, because his voice is not good. Sometimes I understand, sometimes I don't. Can you tell me what he said? Can you tell me what he's saying? Because you, you, you will forget what he said, you know. Tell me what if you want to translate what he's talking, you can tell me. Because they shortly say the Christian are hmm. not living in that area at that time, they only have the Jews and the Nasara. So, but oh. the Christian, so he's living. saying that this is the book of the Nasara, not the book of the Christian, correct. Okay, thank you very much. That's mean your God. He do not know any Christian except the Nasara. So the Nasara is the only Christian, but the Nasara are the one who believe in Jesus as God, and they believe that he is a son of God because this is what the Quran said. So when you say to me that the Quran speak about the Nasara, thank you very much for, for saying that, and the Quran confirm what the Nasara have with them at that time, that means the Quran confirm what is written in the book of the Nasara and what the Nasara says in the in the in the in the Quran according to the Quran. The Nasara they say that the Messiah is Allah. So you just to prove to us again that your Quran is a mad book made by a madman. They are kuffar, those who say Al Masih is Allah. Who is to, he's talking about? He's talking about a Nasara. So you just said to me that the Nasara is the book he is confirming. In the same time, the Nasara is the same people who believe that Jesus is the Son of God and he is God himself. Answer, please. How that can be your God confirming that the Nasara have the right teaching in his time? In the same book, it says the Nasara believe that Jesus is God. Go ahead. Tell me, what, tell me what he's saying, please, because he's talking too much. I don't understand. Say, so can you tell me what he said? And until now, he can take a break and tell me what he said. No, no, I want you to repeat what you say, what he said, because I don't understand what you are saying. The voice is not good. Can you tell me, please, what he said? You, not, not, uh, not uh, the stars. You tell me what he said, please. Um, what he said. okay, he said Nasara are not, um. You said not the Sarah are not uh the, the, the you want me to talk you want to talk sir Nasara are not what okay okay so explain to him in the short one so you can understand okay Nasara is different from Christian they are different from Christian mm -hmm. okay yeah okay so so the so the Quran so let, let us make it simple my friend let us not to talk too much say nothing are you saying that the Nasara are good good believers and they will go to heaven? They are the good ones and their book is correct. Do you agree? No, 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 no. No, no. 
so what the point of saying to me here we go it doesn't matter then because the Quran confirming what they have with them the Quran in chapter 2 verse we, we go back to zero now what's wrong with you the Quran chapter 2 verse number 89 says I confirm what is in their position position of who you said the Nasara thank you very much and now you are saying the Nasara are not a true Christian thank you very much so now how the Quran confirm what is with them if they are not a true Christians so who is the true Christians who is the true Christians the Quran speak about where we can find the word the Christian in the whole Quran where is the true Christian in the Quran who are they, the true Christian in the Quran can you show me what the Quran called the true Christian what is the name the Quran called for the true Christian please can you show me I mean how how crazy this uh, this is I'm asking you I don't care who is the word mission Christian or not the true followers of Jesus who the Quran saying I confirm what you have with you those Christians here the Quran speak about in chapter 2 verse number 89 those Christians what we call them I don't I don't care you call them you can call them a Christian you can call them Hindu you can call them uh, uh, apples you can call them whatever but who are they those Christians who have the Bible with them at that time which the Quran confirmed that this is the true Bible can you give me the name of the group what what he said what he said tell me what he said what he said <laughs> tell me tell me what he said i don't understand tell me what he said hold on let me let me get what he said what he said tell me what he said please uh, mr jamil mr jamil mr jamil yeah do you know that the, the, your mic in your mouth can you use the phone directly without the mic is it going to work maybe it's going to play better um it can be, i i can hear you but i don't know because you know i'm connecting the phone together um maybe i don't know can you okay, tell me what you said say, can you tell me what you just said in the last five minutes okay what 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 what, what do you say that is it now you are saying nazara are not christian is that what you're saying right he said nasara are not christian. so who are they who are they the christians for the sake of allah my friend tell us who are they the christians who are they, the followers said, of jesus the quran here is chapter three let us make it simple chapter 2 verse number 89 it says i confirm the book you have with you the verse here speaking to who with you who who is the one who have the book what is the name of the group What is that? What does that mean? What does that mean? What he said? He said quickly, he just said the book is the Jew book and the Nasara is not Christian. The book is not for the Christian. The okay, Angel the Angel is the book of who? Is the book of the Jews? He said the Angel is the book of the Jew. Okay. Okay. Are you saying that? No, I'm asking him. I'm asking him. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, say to him, are you saying that the Injil is the book of the Jews? Yes. What is your proof of that? What, what is the verse saying that this is the book of the Jews? Thank you. Just let me let me show you that you are ignorant and you do not know your book if we go to chapter 2 verse 113 it says that the Jews they say the Nasara are have nothing and the Nasara they say the Jews they have nothing so how you say to me that the Nasara are Jews when the Quran says that the Jews they say the Nasara are wrong and the Nasara they say the Jews are wrong 
are you sure that you know your book are you sure you did read your book before obviously you have no idea what are you talking about because now you just prove to us that Islam is a false religion your God himself is calling the Jews Jews and he called the Nasara Nasara but yet you just said that the Nasara are Jews no he did not say that didn't he, didn't he say that the Nasara are Jews no 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 he did not say that no. you told he me said, that what he said then okay what who is Nasara let's go back to zero who is the Nasara then asking the question over that to correct it about Nasara and Christian. You want Nasara to the priest. Where does it from? Is it from the Greek? Don't line? give me don't give me a speech about where it's coming from. Tell me, just tell me who are they? Those Nasara, who are they? Just tell me who uh, are they. Don't give me a speech about where the word Nasara came from. According to your prophet, the word Nasara is coming from those who they are helpers, the helpers of Jesus. It's not about coming from 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 Nazareth. Obviously, you are saying that your prophet is a liar again, because Nasara, according to Islam, is the helper of Jesus, not the ones coming from Nazareth. So go educate yourself and teach yourself Islam before you open your mouth. Now we go back to zero. Who are they, the Nasara, which we are talking about, which they have the true book? Who are they, those people who have the book of Allah, which is given to Jesus? Can you give me the name of the group? Thank you. The group are not not They are not Christian. My friend, my friend, I challenge you to show me a reference of what you just said. Stop saying blah 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 blah. Show me a reference. You are a Muslim. And in order to prove something, either you show it to me from the Quran or you show it to me from the Hadith. Can you do that? Let me show you the Bible now. Don't show me the Bible. You see, you just said to me the Bible is corrupt and now you are trying to prove to me you, you are right from the Bible. This is how corrupt you are. If you are a person who follow Islam, then you show me what Islam says. Why you are running away? Why you are running away from the challenge? Show me where in the Quran or in the Hadith saying that the Nasara are not the Christians. I'm explaining one thing to you. I don't want to see what I'm No, I want to see. I want to see. You are a Muslim. When you say to me you don't believe in the Bible, then you want to show me from the Bible. That means you are a hypocrite. I am asking you how you learned that the Nasara are not the Christians according to Islam. Can you show me that from the Quran? Can you show me that from the Hadith? Obviously, you have no idea what are you talking about. So you run away to stay start talking. Okay, let me show you a verse from the Bible. The problem is the problem is you have no answer from Islam. Is that is is, is it, this is the truth? You are saying to me, I cannot answer you from Islam because Islam is an ignorant teaching. There's no answers. How you say to me that you learn about God from Allah when Allah He did not even tell you who is the Christian. So now what do you need to do? You go to books, you believe it's corrupt to show yourself what is the Christians. How you say to me that the Bible is corrupt and now you want to escape and you run away to the Bible? Why you don't show me from the Quran where you believe this is the truth? Where in the Quran it says that the Nasara are not the Christians? We are not muting your voice. I'm asking you where you can show me in the Quran or you're a prophet. Are you saying to me you know more than your prophet? Are you saying to me that Muhammad was a stupid man and you are a smart man? Are you saying to me that Muhammad have no idea and you are the one who have an idea? I'm asking you clearly, show me where your prophet or your God Allah said that the Nasara are not the Christians. You don't let me be shut up. I don't let me be shut up. I said Nasara and Christian are the same thing. Never ask you a question if you know. So I'm a hypocrite. Tell me the origin of Nasara and I'll tell you. If you don't know, tell me you don't know. Okay, I want you to read for me one Islamic translation translate the word Nasara not as a Christian Can you show me one translation? Can you show me one scholar in Islam? One scholar in Islam says that the word Nasara is not about the Christian Can you show me? Can you show me Ibn Kathir? Can you show me Al-Qurtubi? Can you show me Al-Jalalain? Can you show me Al-Tabari? 
So how come all of them they say that the Nasara are the Christians, but you are the one who say the opposite? Are you are you a person who's out of Islam? You have your own cult. Can you read for me the verse in the in Arabic, please? Can you read the verse for me in Arabic? The verse you are reading. Can you read for me the verse in Arabic? Because you claim to be a scholar, but yet you cannot read the verse in the Quran in the in the original language. Can you read for me the verse in Arabic, please? The verse you are reading. Go ahead. My friend, let me teach you Arabic. What what you gave me? This is not Arabic. This is gibberish. Let me teach you. It says, "وَقَالُوا لَنْ يَدْخُلَ الْجَنَّةَ إِلَّا مَنْ كَانَ هُودًا أَوْ نَصَارَى تِلْكَ أَمَانِيهُمْ قُلْ هَاتُوا بُرْهَانَكُمْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ." And now you prove to me again that you are a false teacher because the verse you quote for me says that there's only two people. They are called the people of the book, either the Nasara or the Jews. So now I'm asking you again. The Nasara, if those are the one who believe that Jesus was crucified, the Nasara is the one who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. The yeah. Nasara, shut up. The Nasara is the one who says that Jesus is in the cross. The Nasara is the one who believe that Jesus is a Son of God. Now, if those are all the Nasara, who are the Nasara who believe in this? You tell me. I am asking you, do the Nasara believe that Jesus is God? Yes or no? I say, there is no way you can ask. We are Nasara who refer to as Christians. It was a for error. Don't, don't play games. Do you have in the Quran any name for other group except the Jews and the Nasara? Do you have any other names? We have two people, they are considered people of the book. One is called Yahud and one is called Nasara. So I'm asking you now again, for the thousandth time, the Nasara in the Quran, those who believe that Jesus is God, and your Quran says, I confirm what was sent to you. How he confirmed what they have with them, yet the Nasara, they believe that Jesus is God. How he confirmed what they have with them, but yet the Nasara believe that Jesus is the Son of God. How he confirmed what they have with them, and the Christian believed that the, Nas the, the Nasara they believed that Jesus was a crucified. So you are fighting yourself, and you are going in a cycle because you don't want to answer. I am asking you for the th for the thousand time: Do the Nasara believe in this? Do the Nasara believe that Jesus is God? They believe that He is Son of God. They believe that He was a crucified. Yes or no? They believe in what? They believe in what? Say again. They, they, the Nasara believe in what? What he said. Uh, you need to tell me what he said. <laughs> why you don't give me an answer my friend why you are blah 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 talking too much saying nothing i'm asking you a very simple question is it true that the nasara believe that jesus is god and he is a son of god and he was a crucified yes or no Don't give me a speech. No, give me a short answer. Give me a short answer. Is it true that the Nasara believe that Jesus is God and Jesus is the Son of God and Jesus is a crucified? Yes or no? Stop going to the Bible. Answer me. Is the Nasara are those who believe that Jesus is God? Yes or no? 
Huh? Let me ask you, where is the word Nasara coming from? As long you are saying to me that the word Nasara is not is, is not about the true Christians. Where is the word Nasara coming from? Do you know as a scholar, you claim to be a scholar? I don't understand. Where is the word Nasara coming from, my friend? Where is the word Nasara coming from? I don't understand. Can you tell me what he's saying? Are you there, my friend? Can you tell me what I you're mean, saying? Um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jami, Mr. Jami, Mr. Can you? Uh, because we are hearing the voice on the. You are playing that thing back. Can you mute, lower the other volume so it can be clear from your side? Because we are playing. I, I can see you can listen to him on YouTube also. So maybe you can uh, lower that YouTube so you can hear him. So can, just tell him what you are saying now. Tell him. I said, Yes. Came from the land of Israel. Coming from the land of Israel. Okay. Okay. And and what is the reference of that? Is that from the Quran or from different book? Tell me, tell me, tell me what he's saying. Is is is, is the word Nasara is coming from the uh, from the Quran or from the from from different place? Where he got that? This is from the land of Israel. What is, his, what is his reference that the Nasara are from the land of Israel? Yes, sir. What does the Nasara mean? Where, what Nasara mean according to his knowledge? What does Nasara mean? Okay. Okay, okay, let, okay, I will, okay, talk, okay, talk, so, because, uh, okay, I, I like him to say, I want to say something. Oh, give your comment, okay, so you can listen. You can, you can say it. No, no, I mean, you can, you can continue to talk, sir. That's what I'm saying. My you friend, my friend, my friend, he can talk as much he want, but you need to tell me, you need to repeat what he said, because I understand nothing of what he is saying. That's why I'm, I am interrupting. I am just asking you, can okay, you tell me what okay. he just said? Each time he says something, ask him, he can talk for a minute, and he stop, and then you tell me what he said, because the connection is so bad, hardly I can hear him. So, let him talk for a minute, and then you, you stop. And then you, okay. you know, you yourself, you, my friend, the one who is connecting us, you tell us what he said. You repeat exactly word by word what he said, please. Can you do that? Okay, that that would be good. Like if you give a short word to it, so I can. Give yeah. To you. So let him okay. let him talk a minute, and he stop, and then you tell me what he said, and then he can continue. Okay. Okay. Can I, Mr. Jam? You can continue, sir. I should. I should. I should have one thing. Maybe I should give out my number to him. Let him stop and you tell me now what he said. He, uh, he's talking about calling you, um, calling you direct, uh, something like that. Is that what he's saying? That, um, but he, uh, I think he only used Skype to talk. Um, that's why he, that you can't get him. That's he only used yeah. Skype. No, okay, co okay, continue, continue what you're saying. Tell me what, what he said. Tell me what, just tell me what he said. Now, you, you keep saying to him, Listen, my friend, you keep saying to him, Continue what you're saying, but you did not tell me what he said before. I mean, no, no, he's talking about the phone that he wants to call you direct. That's what he said. Okay, well, we, uh, I don't use a phone, you know, we use a Skype. You know, at the same That's time, even if we use a phone, it's not going to be good. He's speaking from Nigeria. I'm speaking from USA. At the same time, how I'm going to hook up the sound to my computer because people need to hear too. So he want to call me. He can call me in Skype. But let us not to waste time. The okay, word, the word Nasara. Let us repeat the question again. The word Nasara. Where the word Nasara is coming from, according to you as a Muslim? Now, according to your Bible. Why you don't tell me according to you as a Muslim? I am the one is asking you according to you as a Muslim where the word Nasara came in from. Do you know or you do not know? Either you say I know where in Islam is coming from, or you say I know, and then you give me according to Islam where the word Nasara came in from, because you are the one saying Nasara are not the true Christian. Nazareth. 
Tell me what he's saying. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. It shall be called Nazari. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, so so you are saying that the Bible says they will be called Nazarene, and this is where the word Nasara came in from, correct? Okay, now is Nazarene is a is a name of a place? Is it a name of a place? Oh, so so it's a place. Nazarene is a place, right? It's what? Can you tell me what he said? What he said? Ask him, please. Is Nazarene is coming from a name of a place or what? Can you tell me what he said, my friend? You are you are just muting yourself. You are not saying. It. No, 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 no. I'm here because I here want also. you to tell me what he's saying because I don't understand what he is saying. So if you keep your hey, mouth, not, if you don't picture, talk, then there's no point of this conversation. Can you tell me what he just said? That that the word Nazarene came oh. from Nazareth. All right. Is Which, that what he says? Am I right? Am I coaching you right, sir? Is he? Okay. Say word Nazarene coming from the word Nazareth. That's what he's saying. And what is the word Nazareth mean? It's a city. They're, they're it's a city. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So the word Nasara is coming from the name of a city. It's called Nazareth. That's mean you are accusing your prophet and your God to be a liar again. You are a person who do not know what Islam is about. Obviously, if we go in the Quran, I I want to. Do you have your Quran with you? The Quran says, "Where is the word Nazareth is coming from, my my friend?" Obviously, you just said that your prophet is a liar. In chapter 5, verse 14, it says about Nasara, right? But then we will find that Jesus is speak about who they are called Nasara. Who are they, those who they are Nasara? Jesus said that those are, he is the one who called them Nasara. Do you have your Quran with you? Do you have your Quran with you? Do you have do you have your Quran with you, my friend? Do you have your Quran with you? Is it is it uh, uh, the Quran says that Jesus said or Isa said that those who they are unsorry, unsorry in Allah, those are my helpers. In chapter three, verse number fifty-two, it says where the word Nasara came from, according to your Islam. Jesus said. When Jesus just silence, respect the masters when they talk of knowledge. When Jesus found and believe in their part, he said, Where where will be my helpers? Do you know what helpers here? It is Nasara. And he called them Ansari. So the word Ansar in Islam have nothing to do with the word Nazareth, according to you from the Bible. That because Muhammad is an ignorant like you and he do not know where his word Nasara is coming from. So you just prove to us that your prophet is a false prophet. If we go and read in Arabic, it says, this is in chapter 3, verse number 52. Do you say where is the word Nasara coming from? You are not a sheikh. You are a shaky sheikh. You have no idea what are you talking about. You go in the stage to fool people speaking that you know Islam and you just get your prophet busted because if you are telling the truth that the word Nasara is coming from the city of Nazareth and the Quran says no, the word Nasara mean my helpers and this is what Jesus, he himself, he called them. It was what Jesus called them according to Quran. That's meaning either you are a liar or your prophet is a liar. Which one you choose? Tell me what he said. Tell me what he said. 
<laughs> you say you don't have any knowledge about Quran at all. My friend, I'm showing him the Quran in front of him, what he's talking about. And I challenge him to show me one scholar agree with him. I challenge you, I accuse you to be a scam. You are a false prophet, a false, a false scholar. You do not know what are you talking about. And here is a challenge. Show me one scholar in Islam, he says, that the word Ansari is not the source of the word Nasara. Show me one scholar agree in Islam that the word Nasara is coming from Nazareth. Huh? This is the Quran in front of you. This is the Quran. The Quran saying that it is Isa. He called them Ansar. Isa. He called them the Nazar, the, the Nasara. Do you see it? You do not speak Arabic. I understand. You claim to be a scholar. I understand. You collect money from people to donate to you because you are making a business, but you don't claim that you know Islam. You are a liar and you know nothing about your religion. How dare you to say that the Quran speak about Nasara and he meant the Nazareth? If the Quran saying that Isa, he said, I call you Nasara. Who are they, my Nasara? Who are they, my helpers? And this is your Islamic translation. And I challenge you to show me one translation said instead of the word Ansari. Coming as a word Nazareth. Can you show me one translation? Agree with you? Can you show me one interpretation? Agree with you? Can you show me Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, Al Jalalain? Any scholar you want in the world agree with you? What? Answer, answer, stop calling me names. Answer how you, how you say that the word Nasara is coming from the word Nazareth, which is totally, totally in total against the Quran teaching. You are you just to prove to the Muslims. I don't think any Muslim will listen to you after today. You have a you, you destroy your career, my friend. How dare you to say that the word Nasara is coming from Nazareth when the Quran says that Isa is the one who called them Nasara because they are his helpers. So now you are saying that Muhammad is a liar and you know better than Muhammad and Allah is a stupid God and you are going to school your God and teach him where is the word Nazareth is coming from or Nasara. Prove me wrong. Let's see who is a liar. Here we go. I just got you busted. I show you the verse from the Quran. Prove me wrong. Show me interpretation. Agree with you. Show me one scholar. Agree with you. Who? Show me what? Do you have one scholar agree with you? Do you have any scholar he agree with you with, with, with your madness? Do you have any scholar agree with your scam? Can you show me one scholar he agree with you? Or you are making a new religion, it's called a new Islam, Nigerian Islam, to fool those poor African who do not know how to read Arabic. And you yourself, you do not know Arabic, and you claim yet to be a sheikh. You are a shaky sheikh, my friend. And you've been today, you've been squeezed like, like, like a lemonade. Don't ever think that you can teach the Christians about God. You have no God. You are a black person who worship a person who said that the black people are the devil. How dare you? Is it true? Is it true that your prophet he said that shaitan is a black person? Is it true? Is it true that shaitan is a black person in Islam? How dare you? You are a black, but yet you follow a man. He hate the black people. Let him go. Let him go. I'm done with him. That's it. We are done for today. <laughs> we are done. <laughs> Sorry. Potato. Oh boy. Da, 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 da. And this guy, he wanted like to be the Christians. I want to teach you what is a Christianity about. My name is Ustaz. Do you know what Ustaz means in Arabic? Ustaz means master. Really? Kung Fu master. Ching ho. 
I advise you to take a nap for the coming two centuries because we left no bones of you is not broken Master Ustaz you are an Ustaz if you are an Ustaz who's an idiot Those people are like copy paste copy paste copy paste He heard somebody saying that he liked the idea and by the way I don't mind to say that Nasara and Christians. I agree, Nasara and Christians, but not according to Islam. You know what I mean? Nasara, we are not Nasara. But the point here, he is saying that Nasara, according to Islam, are not the true Christian. This is not what it says the Quran. <laughs> Otherwise, I agree. Muhammad is the idiot. What Nasara? Oh boy. <clears throat> All right, our Skype is open. If there's any Muslim, want to give it a try. With my love to all people in Nigeria, my friend, this guy is a scam. And as you see, no Muslim can defend his God. And look how we, you know, he gave me a speech for an hour, and then we say to him, "Shower, and like, can you short it so we can understand what you are saying?" I say to him, why the angel did not say assalamu alaikum? He said to me, show me what he said not say. <laughs> well, what about you? Show me what he said. And then he chose for me a verse from the Quran, chapter 96. We go there, it doesn't say assalamu alaikum. And then he says, oh, the Bible is the book of details, really. Will the Quran have time to tell us about what the ant, she said to the ants? Which one is important, the ant she said to the ant or the angel said to Muhammad? Allah have time to tell us about the flying carpet of Sulaiman and he have time to tell us about the bird who will run away and Sulaiman was checking him and he was upset why he's absent. But Allah have no time to say to us that the angel said to Muhammad, Assalamu alaikum. Right. If you are a Muslim, would like to call me, let me know. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim who have a little knowledge of Allah? You know, I accuse Muslims that there are people who do not know their religion, and Muhammad himself do not know his religion. So don't be, don't be, don't feel bad, because all of you do not know. All of you do not know, including Muhammad. So don't be upset that you do not know. You are just an example of the, you know, if you are following a blind man, how you can be not blind? Do we have any Muslim here would like to call us and tell us something good about his prophet? Anyone? Any two? Any half? Who is a Muslim? Like to call us and tell us something will make you proud about your prophet. One of you, he said to me, can you show me reference where, the, where it says that the prophet he stink after he died? No problem. The reference in the front of us. <clears throat> Hold on. Hello. Hold on. Hello. Christian Prince. Yes. 
How are you? I'm all right. Uh, um, I, I, I'm very sorry about the connection. I wish we can do it better, but uh, if stay there, can you just make? I'm fine now. Okay, I think maybe you can. Can you? Okay, can you please go a little bit further and uh, let's see how this is going to come out, please. Well, I, I, you know, I, I just showed him the verse in the Quran saying that the Nasara, according to his prophet, are those who they are the helpers of Jesus. This is have nothing to do with the city. He himself he quote for me from from the Bible. Saying this is about a city. So now as long you believe in what is in the Bible says Not in what in the Quran. So I have a news for you. You are not a Muslim no more Chapter 3 verse number 52 it says it clearly that Jesus is the one who called the Nasara with that name as Helpers he didn't this is have nothing to do with the name of any city and we can open any Interpretation he chose and we will see that this is not a case Okay, Mr. Jamie, can you present your case about that? Let's see. I, 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 I said, if he confused about Christian and Nasara, I will fight. My friend, I don't care who is the Christians, I don't care who is Nasara. Are you stupid or what? The Nasara is the what the, the Quran says that he confirmed the book is between their hands. But the Nasara are the same people in the Quran who believe that Jesus is God. Jesus is a son of God and Jesus is a crucified So it doesn't matter what you try to say Nasara are those who believe in Jesus as God They believe in him. They believe in the Trinity and the Quran confirmed that so stop playing games So the Nasara people believe in the Trinity and they have nothing to do with the city of Nazareth According to the Quran, which means you did lie to us about that and now we ask you again how the Quran confirm that the book with them in chapter 2 verse number 89 which is the nasara who believe in jesus as god oh can we do this mr jami can you tell him what nasara believe tell him the belief of nasara so tell him maybe you, you know. i'll tell you that the between between nasara and the christian are I don't care about the Christian. Stop talking about the Christian. Stop talking about the Christian. Stop talking about the Christians. This is not the question. I am asking you now, who are they, the Nasara, which the Quran confirmed the book they have with them? The mic is yours. What? Okay, let him get lost. <laughs> He's a coward. You know, we ask him, he keeps saying Christians, Christians. Okay, you don't agree that the Nasara are the Christian. This is not my problem now. The Nasara, the Nasara here is the name given by Isa to his helpers. He said it is coming from the Bible. Me myself, I believe in the Bible, but that's what the Quran is saying. So he is he a Christian or he's a Jew or he's a Hindu or he's a Muslim? A Muslim is somebody believe in what written in the Quran, but obviously this guy is mixed up. He want to prove a point from the Bible because the Quran is speaking the opposite, which means he take the Bible against the Quran as a book of trustworthy. That's mean he left Islam. Same time, he keeps saying to me the Nasara under the Christians. I agree the Nasara under the Christians, but it's still the Nasara. There are people who the Quran confirmed their book, and the book of the Nasara are those who believe in jesus as god as a son of god and they believe in the trinity and they believe that jesus was a crucified so who is the stupid here how we can confirm their book with them and their book confirm all the three three things or four things we believe in it as a christians this is how stupid it is this is why he's trying to avoid the question oh, oh, <laughs> let me let me try again and see no 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 I just let him go let him go i i have no time for kids you know this guy he no have no knowledge he's a kid you know he is he is good to speak to those naive people who uh, you know i saw his video he go on the stage and start singing allah akbar you know is this a scam they make money from this this is a business for them but they have no knowledge and the muslim themselves they will they will torture him for what he just said he just agreed that the quran is a book of lies Oh. Anyway, thank you, thank you, my friend, for trying to make it to make it work. Thank you, thank you. I think we <laughs> we got him busted anyway. He got he got busted bad, big deal, big deal. And let him let him let him uh, let him uh, bite his lips after what he did to himself. You know, every Muslim he go right now and he will see that this is where the word Nasara is coming from, and all the scholars agree. 
so either you go with the guy who claimed that Nasara is coming from Nazareth which is coming from the Bible as he said and that mean Muslims should not believe Muhammad's statement in the Quran and they should not follow Muhammad no more we should take the truth from the Bible or you as a Muslim believe that this is the book of the truth and you believe what the Quran is saying for him he believed the Bible is saying the truth the Quran is not telling the truth and that's enough for us so the Nasara himself uh, believe that Jesus Christ is God does that believe yes the Nasara they believe the whole Quran you see that this is how stupid he is the Quran give us only two names he never mentioned other other name uh, when he speaks supposedly about the Christians so the whole Quran speak only about two groups the Christians and the Jews and who are the Christians in Islam are the one who call themselves Nasara so when he say that the, the Nasara are Jews simply he is saying clearly that there is nothing is called Jews and Nasara he is saying they are one religion but when we go in the Quran we will find that this is not the case the Quran confirm that there's two groups one is called Yahud and one is called Nasara so he is very confused about that and um, maybe he he got my book and he is trying to learn from my book but I don't think so he live in Nigeria uh, if we go if we go uh, uh, and, and read the whole Quran we will not find any third group considered to be following uh, if we if we read the chapter of uh, uh, Al-Umran all the chapter which is a chapter speaking supposedly about Umran family who they are a prophet family all of this is speaking about two groups either those who believe in Jesus or those who follow Moses there's no other third party so this guy and there is a, the, th the only third party is is Abraham by himself where it says that Ibrahim uh, he was not a Jew neither a Christian he was not a Nasara and he was not a Yehudi so this guy, he is he he, don't, he do not know what he's talking about. In chapter two, verse one thirty-five, the same chapter actually. If we go just a few verses more, you will see it says. Um, here we go. And they say, "Be a Jew or Christians." Here, the word a Christian is Nasara, and you see all the Muslims they translate the Nasara as a Christian, but you don't want to accept that then you will be rightly guided say into them nay but we follow the religion of abraham the upright he was not of the idolaters okay so uh, 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 obviously abraham he is neither a jew and he is not a christian all right so what is the third name the quran speak of there's no third name that's it who are they you know if if, if the nasara are not the christians but those are the one who believe in Jesus as God who are they you know if we go in the Quran we will we will find again the Quran saying the following let us see what the Nasara believe and what the Jews believe but he confirmed that the Nasara are Jews to the Quran chapter 9 verse number 30 it says the Jews they said Uzair, not Israel. This is false translation. Uzair is the son of Allah, and the Christians say the Nasara say the Messiah is son of Allah. So he's saying to us that the Nasara are the true ones, which the Quran says that they are true Christians. They are the true ones who follow Jesus. But the Nasara are the same ones who believe that Jesus or Christ is the Son of God. Mm -hmm. He's just ignorant, he do not know what he's talking about. But you know, if you are if you are an ignorant, you can teach in a school of ignorance, and nobody will notice that you are a donkey. Mm. Yeah, yeah. This is the Nasara. This is the Nasara. Okay. And then in the, in verse number two, it says what the Nasara and the Jews they do. You see, it's all over. It's saying that, and the Christians say. Um... The Christ is the Messiah, the Son of Allah. The the Messiah, the according to the Quran, the Nasara here, the word Nasara, Christian, you always replace the word the Christian with Nasara, Nasara. The Nasara they say the Messiah is the Son of Allah. All right. Yeah. That's it. 
so he is saying to us that the Nasara are the true Christians mm. the book is the book of the Nasara and those are the true Christians not the Christians he said the Christians never mention in the Quran okay no problem but the Christians believe that the Christ the Christ is the son of Allah according to here according to Quran you know what I mean in Nasara believe yeah and the same time the Nasara they believe uh, that the Messiah he is Allah himself okay hmm. and this is you know can be found in chapter 5 verse number 17 and chapter 5 verse number 72 all right so when when uh, when uh, when a guy like this he tried to prove us wrong you know he he got him, himself and his religion busted that's what they believe what the what the Nasara believe in they say that the Messiah he is Allah himself no. Yeah. Uh, madness, stupidity. What you can say. But anyway, I'm glad that you brought it him. So we 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 put him inside inside the uh, matches box. Today we shrinked him and we made him so small. Let everybody watch the debate and laugh at this debate. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, my friend, for calling. Take Thank care. Take care. Okay. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Uh, by the way, if you are a person trying to learn, you know, I don't really get aggressive with Muslims and this, they start playing games. But I will speak to you nicely and friendly, my friend. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. It's a big business my friend it's a huge business those people they are making a lot of money if you see the guy this guy video on YouTube you will see like tens of thousands listening to him and they think he is a scholar I bet you he have a very nice house very nice life making a lot of money and wherever he go he is a stars stars When Mimi has a debate with David Wood, you remember? Four hours after, even before they sleep, they made a video saying, brothers and sisters, Allah, he said, those who give a good loan, Allah will reward them. What, what? So, brother and sisters, we are the one who defend the face of brother and sisters. What? They did not even finish the debate yet. Right away, they tried to make money of it. Why you are begging for money right away? And then um, uh, brother Mimi, hijab, he start reciting this verse. <laughs> Who wanna give Allah a good loan? <laughs> How are you, my friend? Hello. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Um, I actually called you like a month ago. All right. And I right. I told you like I want I want to stay anonymous. And I was, I'm an ex-Muslim. All right. And All right. Uh, we were discussing on like, uh, Jesus is like, he's, he was really peaceful towards his enemies. Like he said, love your enemies. Hmm. And you, hmm. you told me like, it was beyond peaceful. Actually, I was contemplating those things. Uh, uh, what would happen uh, to those people uh, who won't follow the teachings of Jesus? When we say, when we say Jesus love, said, love your enemy, uh, the yeah. love the love always have a limit which mean uh, I love you but you don't want me to love you so then you deserve what will happen to you after so uh, when like, we say when uh, let me explain to you my friend when when, okay. when we say that God he love us doesn't mean that God he uh, he will not punish us it doesn't mean that God okay. he will not uh, give us what we deserve so God he can forgive you based on his love not because based on you are good this is why we say there is a forgiveness. So you commit sin against God, you do all kind of crazy stuff you do, and then you ask God for repentance and God forgive you. That is love. Then there's a time where no forgiveness is going to be given to anyone because now you'll be given your time 
and you refuse to accept forgiveness as a choice of your own so then there's a there's a penalty and the penalty will be harsh so if you are saying to me those who don't believe what will happen to them I say to you they will go to hell as simple as that now is sending people to hell is love no absolutely it's not love is a penalty it's an anger it's a harsh punishment but it's a justice um, but but if if a person doesn't uh, like it's like I like like myself I don't I don't believe in Christianity but I I do good things like I don't I don't want to do bad things my friend, I, this, my friend, this is the only let, thing let, let, let me tell you let me this okay. is this is your own logic you can say oh this is not fair right yeah, because yeah. okay uh, I am a person who don't believe in Christianity but I'm not going around killing people right I'm not going around etc yeah. but all of us we commit sin you see like you know maybe you think yourselves you are so good to be to be to be punished but the fact is none of us is good are you saying to me you never commit sin you don't commit sin are you saying that no, no, no. okay no, so, no, no. I, so I the point is here it's not only about harming people it's about harming the gift of God which he given to us me as a Christian I have a body and this body is given to me from God so I have responsibility to bring it back to him clean as I re receive it I receive it when I was a child a body okay. of being pure so when you bring that body back to God because he will take it from you one day when your life will be taken to you and your body is yeah. full of cracks full of sin full of garbage then it's like you know let us say you know okay you 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 borrow something and you want to bring it back to me you lease a car and then they say okay here there's a scratch and here there's etc and now we want to charge you you say please try don't charge me because I did not really you know I wasn't a bad person at least I did not destroy yeah, yeah. the car but still you did yeah, yeah. you know this is not your car to I destroy it anyway so this is the point the point is justice is that God he gave you life and give you his, your body and then you did okay. not provide him back what he gave you as a return he did not say to you okay. go and live and be sinner he said to you go and live as holy and you chose to disobey. I, I, get, I, get, I get the point I get but the point you get a, give a really good example but that works only for the humans because humans are capable of not forgiving one another but he's God. He's like beyond of infinite possibilities. He could forgive his, like his creation. Mm. When we say humans, like you use an example of like, like if I, if I use a car and if I scratch it and I give back to them and they will be like displeased with this thing, so they won't accept it because they, they are humans, and they have they some will forgive us because we are humans. We may, we are filled with anger. We are filled with jealous mm. hatred, but the God is not filled with those things. Okay. So God is beyond something else because if He can't, that when we say like God is love is greater than every mother out in the in in the earth. So how come the God doesn't forgive us if I don't follow His teachings? Did you hear? Did, this, you, did you hear a prayer? The Christian they have the saying it's called Our Father out of heaven. Uh, no. This prayer they ask Jesus how to pray. Jesus He said to them, "You pray like this, Our Father who art in heaven," and then. You have to say in the prayer, forgive to us the same we forgive to others. So the God of the Christians, he made it clear that in order to be a person who earned forgiveness, you have to forgive to others. So he forgive you if okay. you forgive. And here you will see that what you said to me is not right. Because you just said that the God he should be more forgiveness or more forgiven actually the God our God himself he made it a condition that we will not be in his heaven unless we forgive so we ourselves is required to forgive before we can receive his forgiveness even we should forgive the one even the one who will not go to heaven so in order to receive forgiveness you have to forgive to others okay. what they did to you now yeah. Here you I, I want to me, confirm hold on, let me continue please okay. you said okay, to me okay. that God he should be more forgiven my friend he is already more forgiven because look he made a condition that if you want to go to my heaven you have to forgive to others so I can forgive you so the process of salvation is forgiveness even for the Christian themselves they cannot be forgiven unless they forgive how much forgiveness mm -hmm. you want from this which means because now you are forgiven twice if you repent to God you made sin against two against a man or a human or a woman or a child and you made a sin against god so god he is making us forgive you for sin you did against us 
and then by doing that we earn the right to be forgiven which means God he forgave two sinners in the same time by doing that now he said to you I want to forgive you and I love you but you said to you to him I don't want to believe in you leave me alone but yet <laughs> now you are asking him to give to forgive you even after you insulted him and you said to him I don't want you do you think this is fair no 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 that's that's not fair that way yeah, yeah. Okay. that's not but but is it I want to come from this thing um, is this uh, somewhere written in the Bible because I'm not sure about this like God loves you unconditionally unconditionally is this written in yes, some way? Conditionally, does that, that, that doesn't mean yeah, you go and you 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 kill and you rape and you lie and you sin and you yeah. sleep around or you wish women they are not yours. The con uh, unconditionally here that I am going to do my best to help you. I'm not putting condition mm -hmm. on you, but you have to accept me at least. So imagine I have a firefighter. He come to my house. He knock at the door. He say, "Hey, Christian Prince." Your house is in fire. You have to leave the house right now, and we are going to help you to stop the fire unconditionally. I will charge you nothing. Or what we need to do? Give me your hand to save you. You say to him, "No, God, yeah. go. sorry, I don't want to leave my house. I am here happy. I don't believe in you, and you can do nothing to me." And then your house <laughs> catch in fire, and you don't want him to help you. So why why you are crying for being in the fire when you are the one who said, "I don't care." Yeah, yeah. I get, I get, I get that. Uh, actually, I, I want to have. A, I, I remember one thing on this point, and actually, it was asked to Zach and I, and he didn't answer the question. It was asked from an atheist. I think it's a really good question. I'm gonna ask you the same thing. You know, when God didn't create this universe, doesn't uh, doesn't even the time didn't exist. Nothing existed ever. So even before he, he even thought about this creation. He knew some of his followers. I mean, I mean, some of humans won't follow him. He could have saved them in the beginning, but he still chose to go with this creation. And he knew in the future that some of the people will come at sin, will come at crime. But he still wanted to do it that way. Why did he go it that way? Like he, he knew in the beginning, like some of his uh, people will end up in the hell. He could have saved them in the beginning. My friend, so, in Islam, yeah, in Islam. First of all, the Muslims don't. It was actually, it was actually Islam from Islamic perspective. They didn't give any answer. Yeah, I want to hear in, it from a Christian. In, 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 in Islam, there is no free will. This is number one, and you actually okay. you are created to go to hell before even you are made. You know, in Christianity, we don't have that. Jesus said, "Not everyone okay. says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do His will." Which mean, you choose to do His will or your will. But if you do your will, you are responsible for what will happen, the consequence, and that is fair, right? If I okay. if I go now, let us say, uh, me and you, we are we are family, you know. Let us say, uh, uh, with my respect to you, I don't mean to insult. I am your father. No, no, no. And okay. and I say to you, I uh, uh, if you if you if you trust me in my decision to do this, that's better for you. You say to me, no, I don't want your will. I want my will. I have different choices and then you go you invest your money or you do something and you lost now is that my responsibility or your responsibility and that's 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 fine okay so this is exactly but in islam we don't have that in islam it's not about in islam god not only he knew the future in islam god he wrote the futures before you are created to be to go to hell or to heaven in christianity you always okay. have a choice to be or not to be you want to be with god or without god so there is even people who say to Jesus Lord Lord yet they will not go to heaven why because at the end of the day they do do not do the the Lord will they do their own so by lips they worship him but by act they do against him so mm -hmm. if we go in the Quran as an example if I ask you now according to Islam a baby child should he go to heaven or to hell what do you think it's a kind of confusing question because we don't know he he hasn't committed sin he has committed any kind of so what not sin do? or any good deed so what is the logic you think yeah it's kind of confusing i mean uh, should go to heaven i don't right? know no he should go to heaven because the point yeah of, because he's innocent yeah he's right, innocent yeah? but for because that reason the, he should the, go to heaven the point yeah. the point of hell and heaven is you committing sin correct yeah okay now a child who never commits sin still in islam he might go to hell when Aisha attend the funeral with her husband and the child, he is a child of a Muslim family. 
and Aisha, she said, this child will be a bird from the birds of paradise. Muhammad, he said to her, per adventure, Aisha, it might be the other way. Uh, because Allah created those who they are in hell to hell when they mm -hmm. are in the backbone of their father. And he created so those who will go to heaven when they are in the backbone of their father. So it doesn't matter you go to, you do sin or not. Okay, it's uh, okay. It's predestined. Okay, yeah. it's written in the beginning. So yeah. the Muslim they believe in the predestiny in a way that you don't even have a choice. You see, it's not you uh, who make a choice to be or not to be. It's what Allah He wrote for you. In Christianity, you have a choice. Yes, and by the way, in Christianity, we believe in something. It's called predestiny. But this is in special cases, like you know, God He chose me. I can say maybe God He chose me to do what I'm doing now. But this is not yeah. about He forcing me. He chose me. He say, you know, like. There's a there's a special relationship between me and him. I have a passion to serve him So but somehow I am chosen to be Serving God, but doesn't make me I'm doing something against my will. I choose I agree with the will of God because God he said to us You know go and teach go and teach. Okay, so God he gave us an order, but I can say I don't want to teach correct Yeah, I am. okay, so he told me go and teach he will go. This is the order go and teach and preach. Okay, I say, okay, I'm going to go and teach. Okay, this is mean. I choose his will, and I am just doing his will. But you will notice here that my will is in total agreement with his will because I have the right to say no. I'm going to go and watch a movie. Yeah. All right. You are so, in the, you are in the channel. Yeah. So in in Christianity, we cannot compare between Christianity and Islam for a very I simple reason. Point. In Christianity, always you are the person who choose. You know. Uh, and you know if, about forgiveness you remind me of Jesus when he was on the cross He says forgive them father. They do not know what they are doing. What do you want? They were not doing. Yeah, imagine you are putting nails in my hands putting nails on my feet Putting me in the cross. I'm bleeding and making fun of me and then I say forgive them They do not know what they are how, how much forgiveness a human being can take but still they want to abuse God and then they ask Okay, what kind of God is God? He is you know he says you have a free will, but if I don't agree with him, he will send me to hell. Yeah, but this is your choice. Yeah, you this know? is up to me, yeah. my choice. Yeah, yeah. I, I thank, I thank. I get, I get some convincing reply. I, in the end, I want to have this another question because, uh, yeah, I didn't get the point of this. Like you had this Old Testament, and there was a New Testament. What is this about this Old Testament? Uh, the, Old Testament get, the Old Testament. What is, is this? Is a book. Okay. Is a book of history. A book of history and a book of okay. uh, of, of God in the same time. Which means people they went through many things in history. And this book contain a lot of historian uh, or, or history stories about what happened to those people. So when God speak, God is talking. When man he talk, man is talking. You know, we as a Christian, we don't believe that when we say when we say the Bible is the book of God, does not mean that every word there is written by God. You know what I mean? No. We believe, okay, like, yeah. okay, even in the Quran, I mean, but Muslims they refuse that because Muslims they are like solid like rocks when it's come to to uh, uh, think. So. When shaitan in the Quran yeah, yeah. says that shaitan said, is shaitan talking? The Muslim they say, no, Allah. <laughs> I mean, why? Because, <laughs> because this is Quran, right? But this is stupid of yeah, you to yeah. say, this is Quran saying. But just because for them, they confirm that every word there is the word of Allah. That's mean even when shaitan is speaking, it's Allah talking. Well, thank you very much. For us, we don't believe in that. When God, he say, <laughs> he say. When a man, he say, he say. Like as an example, a man, he come to Jesus. And he asked him for something that is not God talking. That's the man. Yeah, yes. that's the man. That's yes, that's it's written man. in the Bible. Yes, this is we consider as the book of God, but this is the man is speaking, and this is what he said. When God so speaks, is the Old Testament uh, of man speaking? Yeah, it's it's only of history. It's what related only. His, uh, I mean, you said uh, the man talking, not Jesus, like in the Bible. Yeah, was it in the Old Testament? Or it's, it's also in the in the new. It doesn't Testament. matter where, like you know, when when the when, yeah, it, it, when the book of Genesis speak about God speaking to Adam, Adam he speak. That's Adam speaking. Okay, okay, ah, yeah, okay, okay, get Okay, but we say we say the book of Genesis is a is a worldly God, but this is not doesn't mean that Adam when he spoke he was God. Okay. Right? Yeah. 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 Right. In some time, in in some way in Quran it mentions we, which doesn't mean like. God is a unification. We like that, and that's like also confusing in Quran. Well, the the we thing in the Quran is madness because simply you ask the Muslim why Allah he say we they say because Allah he speak about himself as majestic like kings, but that's mean Allah he he is lowering himself here, making himself yeah. 
look like king by using we is that how you make yourself majestic by we if you are the god of mm -hmm. the universe i mean what we would do to you that's silly you know the, king, yeah. the kings because they, they 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 like to show off you know we are kings we showed our authority so we say yeah, we. Yeah. okay we got that but you are god i mean who is going who is going to be in competition with you nobody so what we for you know we if kings yeah. if kings they bow down to you and why you want to say we what that will make of you like we, we the, you know we is like we are many and you are a few okay so we so it's a, it's a sign of intimidation i want to intimidate you by saying we we are coming after you you know and you say oh oh mm -hmm. it's not one it's many we you know same uh, we yeah so, yeah same time the 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 quran when he speak about we or i you will notice the quran sometimes say it is he okay well it is he or it is we sometimes you say i it's mentioned there yeah, he sometimes yeah why why if, if if only it fit for allah to be called we why then he says it is he so if if we is the way to speak about allah allah should not use he because obviously it must be insulting it's not fit for for allah to say yeah. he. so and, and and you notice here in the quran uh when the Quran is speak uh, uh, supporting uh, Allah is talking, you will see that always speaking about someone else. Okay. Yeah. When you say it is he and you are he, I mean, how silly is that? Yeah. So it's a contradiction, like he and we. What does it really mean then? Yeah. What What difference will make? You know, what the, What difference is going to make when you say? Sometimes, yeah. Somewhere it's it, it is written like he, and it's like we. So what does it define? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a madness. Yeah, so my friend, after leaving Islam, and you, you said to me, did you leave Islam on air or because you, you have nothing to do with my videos? I forgot. Like, no, many people, they call I, you I to talk to me. Okay. Okay. How you left Islam? You left Islam because of my videos or just a decision you made? No, no. I, I left like, it, it was like three years ago, I guess right. four years ago. Okay. Maybe I, I was watching like uh, many videos like Mistakes of Zach and I, but I did not. I just realized that Islam was false. I was watching David with his video when he mentioned these verses, like a lot of things. Hmm. And I got confused. And slowly, I, I first started believing, believing like they are like misinterpreting the things. Like the Christians online, they want they want to show a bad side of Islam. But the scholar didn't come with a good answer. I, I, I went to the Imams and they said the same thing. Yes, some somewhere, somewhere saying the truth and somewhere not. And Later on, I, re I realized it was a fake religion because mostly in the chapter nine, like it's the most violent religion, like killing people, fight Jews and Christians. And this was completely wrong. And that backbone thing, like in the chapter 86, like the Siemens is like in, in the backbone, like that thing. And it was totally absurd. And slowly, I, eventually, I decided to leave Islam. All right. That's how, how it happened. Like, for me. I just read the Quran. I just read the Quran. Hmm. I think that if people start reading Quran, I think they will leave Islam or they will do jihad if someone believes. It is my opinion. I think so. If people decide to read Quran, or, or either they will leave Islam or they will do jihad. Right. I, think. I agree with you, actually. Um, my friend, I, I take the opportunity that you call me and I invite you to accept the message. I, I actually get very really bad when, when I talk to you. I like uh, I like listening to your debates. And I, I have a bit of request. When you try to show people like these Sahih al-Bukhari versus like Sunan Abu Dawood, these, any kind of these, any Quranic verses, Please provide the chapter number also because I note down, I jot down those things. Well, you because know, I, actually, I always provide, but people they want me what? I mean, sometimes you don't. Yes, no, I do. Actually, it's very easy to find whatever I'm showing on the screen. Like right now, let us say I did not show you the hadith number. You can type four words in the same website, and you will get the hadith. Very simple. So what, is, in, what is the name of the website? Uh, sunnah.com you can type on google because it still is going to show you the same you see google this is how it works if you put five five words from anywhere you know yeah. it's going to show you where it's coming from very simple okay it's from sunnah.com so you can you can yes, free, you can freeze the video anytime even if it doesn't show freeze the video go in google open nice. a, a page in the side uh, type uh, if you words exactly the same and you will get the same yeah yeah it will simple. show up that way yeah, yeah, yeah. very easy I you know I get it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your time. I mean, my friend. I, I get before, really before you go, before you go, I want to okay. invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior. What do you say? Oh, I cannot take that. Like I'm slowly learning about the Christianity. Right. No, I I don't have a book. I live in an Islamic like 
it's like a bit you do not need to have a book better, friend. You, I, can, you can read from the internet you can download the bible from the internet you can read online i i i'm really i'm really thankful for that because i actually try to understand every religion out there like first was my my own religion and i have not understood anything about christianity but i am trying to understand bit by bit because uh, it in you in your like it, uh, recent debate you actually well, we are talking about the heaven of the christianity and you said you are free of the needs i mean that was a really good concept according to, i mean if you see the muslim islamic way of heaven they have this 72 whose concept but your heaven has the free will concept you are free of the needs yeah this that is was the best say, thing. even some christian I, I have by the way good. some christian they read the same verses from the bible but they don't understand it very well because they are not deep in reading so for me when i read something jesus said i come right away to the conclusion that he is saying to me you will be freed of your needs that's why he says you will, he and she they won't get married they will be the same as angels we will not be angels but they're the same what is the same what is similarity angels don't sleep don't uh, uh, eat uh, they don't have sex they're going to one, married, one, they're going to one more thing yeah. i remember i remember one thing yeah you, you see like people want to do is i don't know like what what is is it like the reward that people want to do good because only because of the reward just of heaven they think if we do good deeds we will be, be we will be rewarded the heaven is it the good it is only for the reward they do good things no you see in christianity this is not the reason to go to heaven it's not about the reward the, our, our reward first of all to be with the lord himself and it's about love it's not about there's not this is why there's no, no physical there's no, no there's no physical uh, re reward so uh, uh, that here telling you that christianity goes above the 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 materialistic uh, belief you know material so it's more of a spirituality more of a high value not about i will mm. give you god like when muhammad he says you will be 10 times more rich than any king this is silly yeah he used to I give mean, these like the yeah. reward kind of concepts yeah, yeah, yeah. so what, people what, used to do work for him yeah what i would do with the money in a place everything suppose is free there you know <laughs> yeah. i mean it's a silly I mean, it's a, imagine you say to me i'm going to send you to live in a city everything there mm. is a free including cars houses whatever you want to buy just take it okay and then you say to me i will give you a lot of money but nobody take money there this is stupid you know so yeah <laughs> so so the the you will notice that when we we listen to christ's teaching you will see how deep how amazing how beautiful the thoughts and the wisdom and when we speak listen to muhammad speaking he speak about penis your penis will not sleep and your, your, your women her, her ass will be one mile and her vagina fit for that and allah will give you the power of 100 men and i mean what is that mm, yeah is a lot of things yeah <laughs> These... but this is the language this is a language fit for a person who is naive and he is into lost into temptation and for me this is mm. satanic you know because this is how satan he tried <coughs> to take me down you know satan he tried to take us down by tempting us by things which we know by nature we like you know we like sex we like money we like power uh, yeah, we, we, we like authority point. you know yeah lastness you see jesus in the bible he did wash the feet of his followers. <coughs> if you if you step for a second and you say to yourself okay we have a person who is teaching his followers that he is god on earth and he is going to wash the feet of his followers and then when his followers they said we don't accept you you know uh, 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 to do that i mean this is not really this you're our lord you know yeah and he said if you don't let me do that you don't belong to me here you will notice no. something that the messiah he have taught a different value and totally different uh, uh, approach for what mankind should be is about should be about you it's as a yeah. you as a lord you are a lord by serving not by being served in yeah. Islam, but he was opposite. serving his father you see yeah he is serving you want to be you want to be <laughs> you, you want to follow me in order to be follower you have to be a servant you, if you want to be a master you have to be a servant uh, does does the bible have some science related kind of things like scientific things in bible like they claim in quran like we know these things all, happen in the quran yeah, well, all, the, just in, all the quran in the bible. Is, a, is a joke i i have a book you know yeah it's actually it. a copy it is yeah. from somewhere else yeah. right yeah but from my friend team. my friend in the bible yes but we who care about science because for me i don't really believe uh, 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 maybe you will not understand me a little bit let me explain to you science okay, I was quite science is a random practice is not really science let me explain to you 
they discovered that antibiotic can fight <coughs> a disease correct okay okay but they did not really make antibiotic it's there it's just discovered by by a mistake actually according to what the story says it was a mistake <coughs> Uh, you know they have a fruit which is uh, 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 some grow in it and they notice that this is this is what called antibiotic and can fight the flu and etc and this is how they discover antibiotic but they did not make antibiotic and now science is, uh, science for me is is uh, learning language language of what language of nature around us so try to understand what is around us and we try to use what is around us as an example electricity did okay. science create electricity no Electricity is always existing everything in the trees in our body in the water and everything everything have electricity What we have we have a discovery that mm -hmm. we learn about it before we do not know about it You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it because so we did we, not make we it really. we need to create, yeah, we learn, generate electricity. yeah, we we learn the mechanism of electricity and now we can even make it happen to generate more so science is not really uh, what some people think it's about discovering things around us and using what is around us but until now science is very weak and cannot provide uh, us with creating uh, a human being from nothing can this no, if, you, if you see from a science perspective yeah. like um because if you, when you, science is based upon facts and uh, religion is based upon a belief because you simply have to believe it that's that's a thing like uh yeah, but there's there simple facts i agree with you like you know if somebody want to say to me the earth is a flat and then oh, we, we have it in picture saying the earth is a flat that would be stupid right but but this is just a discovery mm -hmm. of what is uh, what is around us is not really i don't see it as a science and so so for mm -hmm. me as a christian when the bible says that jesus was born without a father that is not science that um, according to science this is false yeah according to science it's okay. like impossible so now science says so and the bible says something <laughs> else which one i will take for me as a believer i will take because we believe in something called miracle yeah. miracle is something no science can explain and actually until now there's many things happen in in the field of medication or medicine etc like somebody uh, a doctor he go on tv and he says this guy his recovery it was a miracle we can't we don't understand how he was able to suffer yeah I, I i remember we talked the same thing on the yeah. last uh yeah so recently. it's a miracle <laughs> why we call it miracle because we cannot comprehend so there is things against science there was there, there was nature. actually this thing you know, i i told you and when you said we cannot comprehend this thing how he got saved like miracles you know i i'm trying to understand this thing uh when you said like god did it because there was no explanation for this miracle to happen as you even last time said uh, you, you have you were in an accident in a car accident and the uh, metal of that car didn't even touch your body so it was like a miracle like you saved from a death and you told me and you said to me uh, how could that have been possible i mean wasn't it jesus like it was something miraculous even science cannot explain this but i think you are when you try to say this god did it you're actually solving a mystery with a mystery because uh, if uh, God was real, I mean, according to science, God is not real because we are not seeing God. We just have to believe that he exists. I mean, if, if I use my own logic, like uh, if, if there is uh, like a museum in Germany and I, 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 I say you there, there is a man inside that museum, but you don't know, you have never seen the man inside the museum. You just have to believe it, like it exists there so will you believe me at that time like yeah, that way know, for, us, for us as a christian it yeah. doesn't go this way because god he came to us as a person yeah. his name is jesus so we saw god the bible says that god he humbled himself so he come in the image of a man in the flesh of a man so we saw god and god came to us and god is not a mystery no more god humbled himself because, and because, he came uh, because to you, us. Are, you are you are your old followers saw him performing those miracles you were not there i mean you have not seen jesus in uh this no, is the no, kind no, of no, let me, let me tell you. Okay, okay, like okay hold on i did not see jesus yeah. in the time he, he came but doesn't mean that yeah. jesus did not came right secondly i witnessed to jesus every day because me myself i changed you know if jesus is not true i will not be me today if jesus is not the person who is exist me myself i will not be here i will be watching my tv putting my feet over my couch drinking some tea and enjoying my life instead of shouting and screaming with people and people would give me nothing except headache and death threat so the christ you know you remember you said if you read the quran 
one of two things will, will happen either you became a Muslim or you do jihad you start yeah. killing people right okay yeah, yeah. so look what yeah, happened it's... that's means shaitan is exist because shaitan he convinced you to kill people in order to go to his place that's mean God is exist too I read I read my Bible I became not a person who want to kill people a, a, a person who is peaceful and he loved people to the point he want to give his time his life to save as many as he can Muslim they threat me they want to call me you can imagine how many death threat I get every day right yeah uh -huh. okay if you are in my place you will be terrified you will say to yourself why I want to do this I mean this is really horrible yeah uh, sometimes I get uh, into uh, debates with I my know, pastor and that I know people even, I they don't even want to talk to me even they are Christian they don't even want to talk to me they want me they don't want me to go even to go to their house because they are afraid because I'm a Christian prince you know I remember once uh, uh, a, a Christian family they were watching TV and then I I spoke in the TV and the guy he said is this this is your voice you know I said yeah this mm -hmm. is me the second he noticed that it is me the whole face of the family changed and then I <laughs> left and since then they never said hello to me you know they never said yeah. hello to me you know because they are because they are scared so what we do is extremely tough extremely harsh but yet if not Jesus who is making me do that I will not do it I am I mean I, I mean myself I changed I, I used to be a person who look for a fight if I walk in the street if I see two people fighting I jump in the fight even I do not know who's fighting so I believe that God is true and he changed our life and he make it he make he make our life better and always you know if you want to seek to know where is God is he will he will present himself to you but you know, this is why Jesus said knock at my knock at the door and I will open for you but the problem is I don't know if you saw a comedy show where a bunch of people they come to the elevator and there, there was a woman mm -hmm. there and then the guy came after and he stand next to her waiting for the elevator and then the third guy came and the fourth guy came and the fifth guy came and the sixth guy and now became a 20 waiting for the elevator to come and the elevator is not moving but nobody asked the first person if then if, if, if she pushed the bomb of the elevator she is not going upstairs she is waiting for somebody to come down so she did not push the bomb <laughs> And now everybody assumed that the first one he pushed the bomb. So you want the elevator to come to you, but you don't want to even to push the bomb. Uh, okay, okay. Give me a give me a suggestion. Like, how should I uh, study the Bible? Like, it it just ha it has this book Genesis, like uh, other chapter Genesis. Friend, how should I start? Read about, I if you want to read about the history, yeah, I want to understand the Christianity. Yeah, yeah. The, the history. Yeah. This is you go from the book of Genesis, and and the book of Genesis, by the way, like when the book of Genesis speak about how God created the earth. Uh, there's some they say or oh, this is literally word by word I believe not because if God want to speak about how he created the whole earth literally he will give us thousands of books because imagine if we want to speak about how the eye function there is like maybe a thousand book to speak about it right I mean mm -hmm. to, to finish to be a doctor just to to be specialized in the eye alone you have to study tons of books so the, when, he, when God he can speak about the creation of the universe he's trying to make it simple for us that I am the creator I am the one who created everything this is how it happened so the the the, the books uh, uh, in the Old Testament teaching you about God the establishment his existence and then the history mm -hmm. if you want to read about let us say okay. uh, uh, something will, will be let us say more practical for you today I believe it is in the gospel in the four gospels because Jesus he came to the earth you see the Old Testament it was to prepare for Jesus to come and now the Messiah he so, came so for me so it wasn't the Old Testament prophesies of Jesus no problem yes it is but this is what I'm saying so the Old Testament okay. prophesy about Jesus but Jesus came so now yeah. the Old Testament for me is enlightening about Jesus but if I want to learn about Jesus I better read Jesus so I Jesus he came mm -hmm. to me and he spoke to me by himself and he gave me amazing wisdom so if you want to want if you want to read the stories which is will help you with your life story you will find you, you can do it right now you open any page in any uh, any of the four gospels you will see that that story fit with you amazingly after 2000 I'm, years I will, a book try written, I will try my best to understand this. yeah you can open any page just try it and let us see if the page fit with you you will see even a, this is how amazing is the teaching of, of Christ is he came 2000 years ago and now we are in the age of app and smartphones and you know what i mean i mean it should not should not fit that book should be old should be like it's not not qualified even to teach me about how to live today 
but you will notice that this book will be qualified to be taught to you today and tomorrow and after a thousand of years from now it doesn't matter how much technology you have for you will notice that he speak to you personally in every statement in the book so it's not just a, you know a speech of wisdom which doesn't doesn't make any difference for you you will you will notice something unique that it is talking about you you will find something on you about you in that yeah. story and this is why I love reading reading what Jesus he said I find always that he is speaking to me even though as you said I never met him but yet he is talking to me always you decide you, you know you, you yourself if you want to read just to you know just to read I mean reading will not make any difference for a human being but if you read to go in depth and to learn and to 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 have a benefit from it and then you will see that the Bible is speaking to you okay what 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 about those people like uh, some that like, like, don't include me in this I know a lot of people like who, who, who were born as an atheist like some were born an atheist but uh, they never read like any kind of religion not the Christianity leave the Islam take a like some don't even re read Christianity but they have they decide by themselves like what is right and what is wrong I mean, yeah, religion, as I said, you know, there's you know, always your this decision. Meeting, no like, problem, no problem. Meeting. My friend, I understand your point. But uh, as we said, you know, if God said to yeah, me yeah, any yeah, other as way, you told, like, if you read Bible, it will help you a lot to, uh, to face a lot of problems in your real life, and you will see a better perspective towards life. Uh, like you mentioned me, like this way, yeah. There's a comfort. Like, there's a comfort. There's a confidence, and there is even even health issues. You know, even even according to science, those who have a belief, they can can fight uh, illness a lot better than yeah, those I who have don't have a belief. Okay. Yeah, but in here, you will see that even the Messiah, he give us amazing uh, medicine. Uh, as an example, the the uh, the prayer I said to you, our our Father out of heaven, when you forgive sin, you forgive what people did against you. Even according to science, that those who forgive, they live, they live happy because simply the hate is not in their heart no more. A person who lives with hate, he die with hate, and he, he will never enjoy his life. So even if you want to live happy, Christ help you to be happier. You know, the real meaning of happiness will be coming through him. Now, an atheist, he don't want to follow Jesus. And you are saying to me, well, he, he decide to decide what is right, what's wrong. Okay. As we said before, everybody will take responsibility for his decision so if there's God and you choose your own way then God will punish you for choosing a way which is not his way the free will is not absolute which mean you have a free will you don't want to follow me but this is the only way to save you you say to me your way is better okay take responsibility for your way as simple as that so an atheist he think he is doing the right thing okay good luck I get it. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I will try to understand. I will try to understand the scriptures. And if I find problems somewhere, and then I will call you. All right, my friend. Okay, thank you very I'm much for. We'll come back. Take yeah, care. Yeah. Take thanks. Care. Thanks for the time. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. <clears throat> uh, Rob. Uh... It looked like my Skype is a frozen somehow. Did we have a good time, guys? <clears throat> uh... Do we have any Muslim in the chat? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim in the chat would like to call us? Looks like my Skype is uh, frozen. Let me shut it down. It's not even shut it down. I mean, how is going to shut down and I'd not say inshallah? How silly I am. <laughs> I mean, you want, it's not going to work. You have to say inshallah. I mean, what's wrong with you? I always do this mistake. This is why, because of inshallah, we have no electricity in the Middle East. 
because if inshallah we have no jobs because if inshallah we have terrorists because of inshallah we have kidnapping inshallah working greatly hello hello, hello? Uh, hold on I, re I restart my skype so he would not hear hello me. yes my friend go ahead oh hi how are you i'm fine yeah uh my question is uh, is about tawhid all right okay uh the thing is you know when you talk to muslims they like to say oh i like tawhid 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 but the thing is um what is the exact meaning of Tawhid because I know what they, they say it means but I mean uh, in the Quran how is it like Tawhid like represented well Tawhid my friend is a word mean unification and mm -hmm. Muslims obviously by choosing the word Tawhid they choose a word uh, totally the opposite from what they try to claim because the Muslim they say when you say Tawhid you are speaking about unifying right? uh, 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 sorry uh, oneness of God yeah but the tawhid does not mean that tawhid is a word mean unifying you know mm -hmm. so if you go in the dictionary today they will say to you tawhid mean because they are they are copying what the muslims mean by uh, monotheism but the fact if we go down we will see we will see that this is about unifying something is not about uh one god it's about unity you mm -hmm. see uniform so, unity you see unity so always it's come as unity you unite things together if allah is one you don't do unification yes but so if tawhid means like unity so it's salah with whom it's what so if tawhid means unification so so Allah is with Tawhid with whom? Yeah, but this is why I say that the word Tawhid is a wrong word to present Islam as the Muslims that try to claim that they believe in one God. Mm -hmm. So they choose the wrong word. Tawhid. So is, Tawhid. Who's the other person fit, then? Yeah, Tawhid fit better with the with the with, the, uh, with somebody. Maybe he's a Christian. He speak about the Christian, Trinity. Exactly. You know. Yes. But yes. not does not fit with Islam. But because they are ignorant in their language, they ignorant about the religion. They choose Tawhid, and I say Tawhid means we you know, we 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 believe in one God. But the fact. Unification. The word of hate is coming from Echad. In the Bible, it says that the man will leave his family and he will be one with his wife. Echad. Mm -hmm. And this is what Muhammad said in the Quran. This is Echad. Say Allah is Echad. But Echad does not mean one. Yeah, it doesn't mean that. You know, Echad, if you type the word Ahad in the whole Quran, you will find all the translation. They translate the word Ahad as the word mean one of. Here we go as an example. Any, any, any verse, a challenge to any Muslim. Chapter 2, verse 102, chapter 2, verse 136, chapter 2, verse 285, chapter 375. It's all over. I mean, all over. Look, look how many. I can show you hundreds of verses speaking about the word ahad. And always the word ahad, as an example, this is one short. Chapter 4, verse number 152. This is the word ahad in the front of us in the screen. Oh, you don't, you're gonna, you don't see the screen, guys? Okay, yes, sorry. I, I see it. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, now you see it. Sorry for that. Okay, chapter 4, verse 152. It says, mm -hmm. You see, Ahad? Okay, this is Ahad. Mm -hmm. This is the same verse the Muslim, they say, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say Allah in chapter of Al-Ikhlas. Say that Allah is Ahad. Okay, but Ahad cannot be a word mean one. It means one off. Click at the translation. And you will see it says any One. of them do you see how they translate the word ahad wow any of them so one he must be one of others in order to be a god any of them and that you know here you will find muhammad he is very confused uh, using the jewish word without knowing what this is mean he thought this is mean the oneness and then muhammad again he copies someone who is one of his writers uh, where he said, uh, "Blessed be Allah, the best of the creators." And then Muhammad, he liked that sentence. He said to him, "Write it there." And the guy, he decided to leave Islam when he heard Muhammad saying that, because he said to him, "I am the one who said that, not you." He said to him, "This is how I say it's given to me too." So Muhammad in the Quran, uh, as an example, in chapter uh, twenty-three, verse fourteen, 
uh, uh, he said, uh, and this is appear in more than one verse in the Quran. He said, the breast be to Allah, the one he is the best of the creators. But hold on, if Allah is one God and He is the only creators, so how He is the best of the creators? Exactly. The Muslim they try now to give you their own uh, fiction uh, explanation that you know if you create a table, if you create a <laughs> chair. I mean, how? Hold on, hold on. You, Allah is saying to me He is better than me in creating chairs. <laughs> what are you talking about? What does this have to do with it? creation? Creation in the mean of religion is about giving life. Exactly. It's not about making a table. You know, uh, uh, Jesus said, "I create for you from the from the mud. I make a form of a human being, or sorry, a form of an, a bird, and I breathe to it, into it, and I make it a living bird. That is a creation. Yeah, Jesus did not make a mud, and that became a status, and that is a creation of a status. That's false. So creation always in Islam is about you giving life to something. This is why the Quran says." That how you worship somebody, you don't even know how he, he cannot even uh, uh, create for you a fly. So what the Quran is saying as, as a standard, that if you want to worship somebody, at least worship somebody, he create a fly in chapter 22, verse number 73. Oh man, oh man, here is a parable set forth. Listen to it. Those on whom beside Allah, you call not creating even a fly. So what Allah here is saying, supposedly, mm -hmm. if they can create a fly, okay, worship them. Yeah. But if they cannot create a fly, and even a fly, if it stole the food from them, they cannot get it back. All right? Which is good. So here you are saying to me, if you can create a fly, and the, the reason you mentioned a fly because it's a small, supposedly, yeah. which means a fly <laughs> and above. So yeah. you can't even create a fly, so he chose something very small. Okay, Jesus, he created the bird. <laughs> So now you are saying to me, if they can create a fly, worship them. Yeah. And then you say to me that the Muslim, they say that Allah, he gave the power to Jesus. He gave him permission uh, to create. But this, that will not change the fact matter. that he's a creator. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I am the one who created. It's not. He did not pray to Allah. And Allah, he says, okay, I will create for you. I, I will do your request. No. I, the, the Quran says, I will create for you. By the permission of Allah, that won't change anything. You know, the, but, here we go. I am here get, getting Allah busted every day. Can you say to me that this is by the, <laughs> the by the permission of Allah? Uh, no. <laughs> but you know what's funny is you know in the book of Isaiah, God says like He will not share His glory with anyone, and they're like saying, "Oh, Allah said, oh, Jesus, you can create a bird, but it's like sharing His glory." So that's pretty like Allah cannot be God. That's just stupid, you know. Yeah, a Muslim he says to me, uh, I don't know if he's a Muslim. He says, "Where in the Quran? Um, tell us where in the Quran." Uh, had, uh, and the hadith it says that Allah is the only creator. Yeah, for sure we can show you You know the Quran confirmed that Allah is the only creator which means this is a uh, This is a contradiction mm -hmm. uh, For for what what Muhammad he said in different place uh, If we go in the Quran, we will find the following there's many verses actually uh, In chapter 2 verse number 29 it says it is he who created for you everything in earth and heaven. That's it so how he is the best of the creators? This is he who created for you that all in earth, and then he finished the, the heaven. So is he uh, the only creator? Obviously, the Quran is saying that. But then in the different verses, he is the best of the creators. Yes. And that does not make sense because if there is no other creator and you say, I am the best of the creators, that's when you are lying. Exactly. All right, my friend. Thank you for calling. Oh, but CP, CP, CP. Yes. I have another question for you. Uh, I was listening to a live you did uh, like a few months ago, and you said like Allah doesn't remember what he created first. It always was the tree or the stars. Uh, what verse are you referring to? Well, you know, like here we go in front of us, chapter 2, verse number 29. Speaking mm -hmm. that Allah, he created everything in earth, right? Yes. Okay, and then we go to chapter 41, we will see the different story. And if we go to chapter 79, we see the different story. So he don't remember. Clearly, you know, uh, if we go as an example, in chapter 41, uh, verse number 11, you can read it from verse number uh, uh, 9, you know, where it says that he created everything in earth and then he created uh, 
he said the mountain standing firm in the top of it. So here now he created the mountains first, etc. Right, and yeah. then after that he went to the sky, and the sky was a smoke. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we go to different verse. We will find in different verse Muhammad is saying the following. Yeah, the smoke and he said to it and to the earth. Okay, read this verse with me. Chapter okay. chapter 79. And here you will see. Uh we go and read from verse number 27. You can read 10 verses before, so Muslim will not say I'm taking things out of contact, you know. You know, you know them. Are you the harder to create or is the heaven that he built? Then he continued. So he started what with the heaven? He mm -hmm. raised raised it high above and he ordained it. And then he made the dark night therefore and brought forth the morn, which means he created the day and the night. Mm -hmm. And then after that, he spread the earth. And then after that, he uh, 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 produced therefore water and pasture therefore. And then after that, he made uh, uh, the hills. And then after that, he provide the cattle. Mm -hmm. All right. But if we go to the other verse, it says the opposite. It says that the heaven was the last to finish. He finished all the earth first. Mm. Okay? He created the earth in two days. This is chapter 41. And yes. then he put everything in four days in the top of the earth. He placed the mountains and he did now the cattle. So the cattle was uh, a process number uh, two in four days, right? Yes. When the cattle is created, this is the number two process if we go to the other verse you will see that the cattle was at the end first of all he created the day he created the, the heaven then yes. he created the day and the night and he, yeah. he left up the sky created the day and the night number three and then after that he spread the earth he made the flat and then after that <laughs> he he, uh, uh, he he brought the wa uh, the water from the ground and after that he made the hills and after that, he made the cattle. Okay? Yeah. If we go back, look, now he is in, after he made the mountains, after he created the earth, he made the mountains and the pastures and the grass and the animals. And then, then he went to the sky, and the sky was a smoke. And then he completed a seven ferment in two days. And what mm -hmm. he do, what he did in that, then he now he created this the stars and then he created the lamps which mean the stars until now the, the sun does not exist and this is total contradiction of the verse again and, and the other one so which Thanks. one Thanks. You know i mean yes and not only that muhammad he cannot stop from doing poopoo as usual if we go to muhammad he says Read with me carefully. I don't know if you can. Yeah, you see the screen? Uh, it's it's late, but yeah. Okay. It says Allah the Exalted, the Glorious, uh, created the clay on Saturday, and He created the mountains on Sunday, and He created the trees on Monday, and He created the things in tiring labor on Tuesday, and created the light in Wednesday, and He caused the animals to spread Thursday, and He created Adam on Friday afternoon. Yeah, now, I see. Yeah. Now here, Muhammad, he confirmed that he's a false prophet. Why? Do you notice how many days now we have? Uh, it's eight. Eight, eight days. Eight, eight days. days. Yeah. But the Quran says that Allah created everything in six days. In six days. Yeah. So who is the stupid here? It's a seven days actually, and he rest in the. You know, he start with the. He start with Saturday. He start with Saturday, and he end with the Friday. That is a complete week. So Muhammad yes. here again is doing poo poo. Yes. You know. The verse yeah. in the Quran, one verse says Allah He created everything in six days, and one chapter says uh, seven. So, uh, uh, you know, so uh, or six. The Muslim, they try to find a solution. They say, oh, the four days are included in the two days exam. It doesn't say that. It's clear. I mean, come on. <laughs> anyway, my friend, thank you very much for calling. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Do we have any Abdul?
All right, look like nobody there. Hello? Christian Prince, can you hear me? Hey, my friend. Sorry, I could not take your call because I have an ex-Muslim was speaking to me. Okay, just let me let me do something. Wait. How are you, my friend? I'm all right. Can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. Hello? Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, I really enjoyed uh, the debate between you and that imam from Nigeria. Okay. Uh, you, you really destroyed him completely. <laughs> I did it not was even. Really, was I did really, not even. I was. I didn't really speak much because I can't even hear what he's saying. I was. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to make something out of what he. I understand. And the, uh, and the gentleman who is trying to communicate between us, he keep silence. He is not giving me what he's saying. I keep saying to him, "What he is saying? Tell me what he's saying." What a yeah. joke! <laughs> we we didn't understand him really good. But the only thing that I could say is, uh, this guy. Uh, he, he had no clue what he's talking about. You asked him to show you from the Quran where um, Jibril is saying, Salamu alaykum ya Muhammad. But it's not, he can't find it, not in the Quran and not in the hadith, right? Yeah, that's what I said. And, and no, the funny, look what he said. He said, Show me where, it's, where, where it says he did not say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is the most funny answer ever. You know? <laughs> Show me where it says it didn't say that, you know, show me. I mean, what are you talking about? You show me if he said salam alaikum, it means going to put it in your book, show me. And yeah, then after squeezing and himself, left and right, he come with the conclusion, okay, let's read the chapter 96. We go there, we don't find it. <laughs> and no. The funny thing is, uh, Muhammad, he didn't know that it was Jibril. So he had to go to his wife, Khadija, and she had to do a striptease Right, she she had to do a striptease, so she took off her clothes. No, the striptease is before <laughs> the striptease. The striptease have nothing to do with the uh, with, with the cave story. The striptease, according to the story, that when Muhammad he sees someone in the corner of the room, but he do not know who is this guy, and this guy is not talking to him, which is a very funny story. I mean, why in the in the world this angel he come and he sit there like an idiot? You know, I mean, you have nothing to do. I mean, why you are sitting there watching me? I mean, like. Obviously, Muhammad is a crazy man. So the story says that an angel he come, but Muhammad was not sure if it's an angel or not. And he sit in the corner of the room and he told his wife that there's an angel come and say there's someone. He didn't say an angel. Someone he come, and uh, Khadija she said to him, when your friend come over next time, she said Sahibuka, which means your companion. When your companion yeah. come to you next time, let me know. So he came and he told her, I see him now. So she said to him, okay, sit in the top of my right leg. Do you see him? <laughs> He said, yeah. yes, sit in the left leg. Do you see him? Yes, sit in the top of me. Do you see him? Yes, she took off her clothes. Do you see him? He, he, he said, no. She said, the glory to Allah is not this is an angel. <laughs> yeah, but which angels we don't know. So he had to go to Waraka ibn Nufal, and Waraka ibn Nufal is a Nasrani. Yeah, and he's the guy who said, yeah, this must be Jibril. And he, he basically didn't even say Jibril, he said, this is your Namus. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't even name him Jibril yeah. according to their books. Yeah. Madness, my friend. What we can say? Uh, uh, Actually, sometimes, to be honest with you, sometimes I see someone in the corner of the room, and I was wondering what is that. But I don't have Khadija. <laughs> you know the problem. And then I, I could not. Uh, I don't have Khadija in my house. So I took a snapshot. I took a picture of it, and then I posted it in the internet, and they told me this is a cockroach. <laughs> he was. You know about the cockroach, uh, Christian Prince. Uh, I'm sitting on Potok, uh, so people are listening to what we say right now. And I'm asking uh, some Muslims in the room, and they are listening with us right now. They are hearing what we are saying. Mm -hmm. And I asked them, hey, the cockroaches, they are attacking Kaaba. Why is Allah silent, man? Why is Allah not doing anything? You know what this guy, this Muslim says? Mm -hmm. He says, yeah, uh, Allah is testing people. I said, wait a second, this has nothing to do with testing, because Allah in chapter 105, he promised that he will send his bird army to protect the Kaaba. And the Kaaba has been destroyed many times over, right? Uh, yeah, the Karamita, uh, the leader of the Karamita, he went on top of the Kaaba and he pissed on the Kaaba and he screamed loudly, Allah, where are you? Why are you not destroying me for doing this? And he broke the black stones in pieces and he stole it for 22 years. Where's Allah, man? <clears throat> Allah is dead. Muhammad actually, he said that there is a testing for prophets and what was lies you know yeah. 
the lies is the testing of prophets in Islam so Muhammad he says that Allah he tests us prophets by lies and obviously why he's saying that because Muhammad was full of lies and but I believe they are holy lies you know I mean they will not be the normal lies they will be special lies sent by Allah to test Muhammad by sucking his blood yeah uh, wasn't it um, um Salama who we used to pick uh, lies from his uh, hair because he was full uh, with lies in his hair, wasn't uh, there, there is many, there's many, there's many stories. But there's a woman, her name Ummu Haram, yeah, uh, which means the, uh, the the mother of uh, Haram, which is forbidden, which is very weird. Believe, unbelievable! What a dirty prophet is. Uh, and he use uh, uh, he he use uh, as you see in the hadith here. Yeah, he related to me from Malik, from Isa, etc. Abi Talha. He said that Allah Messenger may Allah bless him. Blah 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 blah. He visited Ummu Haram, been to etc., and he and she fed him, and uh, she was the wife of Abayda. Uh, one day, the Messenger of May Allah bless him, grant him peace, called her, and she had fed him and sat down, and they lost his hair. Uh, by the way, here it says you fell, which means taking lies from his head. What did loss mean? I don't know what this word means. <laughs> Do you know what the 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 loss the loss the lose? What does that mean? Do you see the screen? Uh, yeah, let me check. Yeah, the lice. Lice is, uh, is uh, you know, insect which okay. lives in your So hair. she is taking, so the, the translation correct then. Okay, so she is yeah. taking the, the, the lice from his head. Yeah. And uh, obviously his head was a very wonderful head. And Allah is, if Allah <laughs> could not protect the head of Muhammad from the lice, I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> Yeah, Allah did not protect the head of Muhammad. So how can he protect the Kaaba, man? Yeah. I mean, come on, bro. There is a Muslim trying to call me, so I, I will I will let oh, you go, my friend. Sorry. sorry for that. All right, I take enjoyed, take care. I enjoyed the debate. Uh, I was really laughing. <laughs> uh, thank you for calling me back. My thank friend. you, my friend. Take care. I respect you and uh, God bless. Take care. Bye bye. All right, we have a Muslim trying to call. Look like it. You know, when you see somebody speaking to me, my friend, don't call because simply I cannot take two calls in the same time. Have patient. <coughs> Here we go, Abdul. Call. I'm calling you. Or not, I have headache from Sky by the way. Ten, ten, ten. I mean, can they change? I wish they give us an option to change the ringing. I want to switch it to Allahu Akbar or inshallah. Okay, you keep calling me, and now I call you, don't answer. Okay, take care. Any Abdul? Abdul I want to know if you what Islam is not really a religion by itself Islam is a collection of cults and uh, in the time of Muhammad, there was many. It's a great business, you know. Anyone claim to be a prophet, it, it's a business. It's a it's a great business, you know. But uh, I get your question, my friend. There's no need to call me. Uh, until now, actually, now if you say you are a prophet, do you know how how nice the life would be for you? 
right now there's many people they claim to be prophet and they are supposed to they claim to be Christians they have fancy life you know there's many naive people believe them you know I mean always if you claim to be a prophet it's a great business there's a guy he used to be in Florida and he died he claimed to be Jesus anyone remember him and he have very beautiful women as bodyguards and their skirt is one inch <laughs> anyone remember his name I forgot his name you know uh, he have a very fancy villas very fancy cars millions of dollars income uh, people they join his false church I mean you know yeah what is the question my friend you see a text is going crazy how I can know the question of somebody can you answer loading Chester question what is the question I mean look at me the poor me I have no bodyguards I don't even have a wife uh, can you give me the hadith versus a story about Muhammad crops was the sign okay no problem okay my friend but do you speak Arabic because all the reference are in Arabic I don't know if you speak Arabic I will give you the link all right but let me show you first where it says before I give it to you so you can in case you do not know Arabic you can find in English I don't know I, I, I don't think Muslims will translate this Arabic وقال العباس إن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يأسن كما يأسن البشر so you have to count. Let me show you the page as it is. This is now the page. You count the first two lines, three lines, and then line number four, and you start from here. All right? Yeah. So Al-Abbas, he said that the Messenger of Allah, he stink the same as a human being stink. This is when he is dead. This is talking about him when he died. All right? Let me give you this link first. And this is the book of Nihayatul Arab fi Fununi al Adab. And this is section, <clears throat> as you see in the page, 5 to 166. All right. There's many reference actually, but we will give you some. All right. Something else. Actually, this page here, it says the hadith about the prophet, he stink the same as all a human being, they stink. Uh, they are saying that this hadith is accepted and nothing wrong with it. So the Muslims, they have nothing wrong with it. Uh, Wallahi innahu la yasan kama yasanul sa'ir al-bashar. So Ibn al-Abbas, he said, al-Abbas, which is the uncle, he came in and he says, let us read together. Wa innahu lamma dakhala alayhi al-Abbas ammahu hina maad. ومكث ثلاثة أيام قبل أن يدفن وكان وضع عن يديه على إنف إنفه. Let me let me open Google translation so the Muslim will not say I'm making things up. Guys, don't call me. Hold on, just just hold your horses. I mean, I can. You think I can talk to everybody? How many people are answering at the same time? Don't you see me? I'm answering somebody. A patient. Like, what do you expect me to answer everybody? One by one. So we go to Google Translation. Google. If you can find me the same hadith in, in, uh, in English, that would be wonderful. So this is the Google Translation. I'm going to copy. Yes, Hassan, what do you want? 
Hello. Hello. I'm fine. What do you think, Hassan, about the hadith saying that the Prophet he stink? Are you there? Hello. Hello. When your prophet he passed away, the prophet was not buried. As long as you speak English, you speak Arabic and English, that's wonderful. Guys, okay, stop calling me, otherwise, I will block you. Don't call me. I am live on air. What's wrong with people? My friend, read with me. Do you see the screen? Wait, wait, just a second. What's wrong? I'm going to stay away for 10th century. Just, just the connection is uh, so slow. Mm. I will read for you until the connection come. So this is when your prophet he die. When your prophet he die. Okay. Yes. It says here in front of us in this hadith. ولما دخل عليه العباس عمه حين مات ومكث ثلاثة أيام قبل أن يدفن وكان واضعا يده على إنفه وقال له عجلوا بدفن صاحبكم والله إنه ليأسن كما يأسن البشر. Translate. Okay, what's uh, your translate? Translate. Then we will see what. What's it? Translate. Translate. I don't think but make your point. The my friend, my friend, don't you see always you call me, you say make your point. Translate first. We want to be sure that I am not giving false information. You speak Arabic and you are Moroccan. And the, the hadith in front of you in Arabic, read, read for us and translate. Translate. Does it say there? Does it say that Al Abbas, the uncle of Muhammad, he entered and he found and when Muhammad he was dead for three days. And he have his hand over his nose and he said. Bury your friend, which means Muhammad. I swear by Allah, he stink as all human beings they stink, which means when, when they die. Does it say that? Yes. yes okay. Because uh, huh? Yes, because, uh, because what? Because he is a human. Okay. But isn't it your prophet? He said that the that the, the body of a prophet will not be uh, decayed, the earth will not consume it. How he stink, and you agree that the hadith is sahih, and because he's a human, and I agree with you, okay. But how he say in different hadith that uh, uh, Allah told him that the body of the prophet will not decay. What? Some scholars say this hadith is weak. Which one is weak? Which, which one is weak? Which one? The one which what? Uh, this the second hadith where he say that uh, the body cannot cause you. Is it is it is it weak? Who said to you it's weak? Here we go. It says sahih. You want me to get you busted? Here we go. Guys, does it say sahih? Does it say sahih? It is sahih. So you are lying again. Okay. Um, Okay, 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 yeah, 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 just, just go, man. So the week did not work, so we say it is some scars. Okay, it's weak. I mean, what we can do? It's weak when they want. It is strong when they want. <laughs> it's weak. You are the weak one. Your prophet is weak. Your God is weak. Everything about you is weak. A religion of weak. Nice to meet you. The religion of weak. Everything in this religion is weak. Obviously, Muhammad here is a liar. You agree that the prophet he stink? I 
and this is a total contradiction this is why when he died they did not bury him for three days three days did not bury him and you will see here they are saying that this hadith is sah is sahih you know hello hello hey cp how are you i'm fine my friend yeah very cool uh, the guy that called you before, he's calling you all the time, isn't he? Yeah, this is the same Moroccan guy. Yeah, but he is the same guy who speaks from his nose, but he say nothing. Anytime you get him busted, he says, "Go to Nigatir." We go to Nigatir. He says, "Go to Atabari." We go to Atabari. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've seen that yesterday. I've seen that all the time. We, you were talking to him not like once or two or three times. You talk to him all the time, and he's always calling you. I mean, when is the time he's going to accept it? What, what what the truth is you know well anyway you know it's it's uh he accept or don't obviously he knew that he he see yeah, i'm sure he see but it's not easy my friend this guy he live in morocco if he leave islam that would be a big problem for him and he don't want to believe that he is being a fool by following a foolish false prophet how the hadith here and the funny here it says in the front of us that this hadith is accepted is good you know and that hadith is accepted so how how uh, how you say to me that the body of, of a prophet will not be decay and the guy he stink you know obviously Muhammad is a liar that's why they did not bury him for three days three days but why three again always three, uh, three yeah, maybe they, they are hoping that he will come back the same as Jesus from from the tomb you know forget it forget yeah. it yeah <laughs> all right my friend anything else you want to say uh no all right thank uh, you very much for calling because some people are trying to call me all right take yeah, yeah no problem all right, take yeah. Care. anyway actually i i'm not going to take more calls no problem i think we are done for today um <sighs> i mean islam is the most silly stupid religion ever and how in the world a human being can believe in such a garbage God who want to give me versions it says here here we go the same link it says in the front of us and we can search for it no problem so here it says الجواب الحديث المذكور معروف عند أهل العلم ولا بأس به عند أهل العلم ولا نكار في ذلك and this is the Sheikh of Imam Baz website we go. Let me give you that website. This is Imam Baz. Imam Ibn Baz is one of the highest scholar ever in the history of Saudi Arabia. Oh, it's not coming. Let me shorten the video. It's uh, the link is so. Um, let us see. Google, shorten Google. The link is so link uh, so long. Uh, even Google is not working to shorten. Okay, now it's working. Shorten. All right, here we go. So now we can post it for you. Tell me, guys, if you see it. Is it working? Do you see the link? Thank you, Ishtar. All right, that's it. It's there, there that the hadith is authentic, and there's no problem with it. Uh, it does not appear in the screen. No, it's shown in the screen. I have it right in the screen. I refresh your page, my friend. If you are not seeing the screen, refresh your page. Thank you, everybody. Bless you, everybody. I am really, um, I don't know how to answer all those beautiful messages coming to me. I really love you all. I apologize for not answering every one of you. But as you know, it's too much. But I really appreciate all of you. And let us say we are lucky. We are lucky, really, to have someone whose name is the Messiah. We don't have a garbage like this.
I am proud not to be a Christian prince. I'm proud to be Christian and prince of the Lord. That's why this name means a lot to me. It's not about just a name. I'm not proud to be prince of a royal family. I am a prince by him. He made every one of us a child of God. He is the king of kings. And we are the princes which belong to him. When you are a Muslim, you bring nothing but shame to yourself. A God who want to give you vagina and penises. A God who want to give you boys for sex. A God who says something, you do something. A God, he promised something, he said, do the opposite. A God who contradicts himself. A God, he speaks foolishness and filth and disgusting. I don't want to belong to that. You see, when we as a Christians, we speak about the Messiah, the Messiah himself, he said, who of you can prove me as a sinner? Challenge everybody. What is my sin? We have a person we belong to who nobody can prove him to be a sinner. And we have a guy who is full of garbage. And yet, there's a billion Muslim, they believe that Muhammad is the best of mankind. All of this because of the propaganda machine, where the propaganda machine will not give you even a space to think, to read. You open TV station, the prophet peace upon him. You open the radio, the prophet peace upon him. You open, uh, you open your book, the prophet. You go to the bathroom to do poo poo. Still, you hear the speaker. Allah, 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 and the angels are praying on the prophet. I mean, the whole universe is busy with Muhammad. They will not give you a chance even to breathe without Muhammad. For this is a very false cult. All dictators in the world. Their agenda is the following. If you go to any dictator countries, the picture of the president everywhere. There's only one guy in the whole country. The stadium in Iraq is called the Stadium of Saddam. The theater is called the Theater of Saddam. The river is the river of Saddam. The dam is the dam of Saddam. The school is the school of Saddam. The university is the University of Saddam. So you, you know, all your life is based on Saddam. Propaganda machine. To worship the dictator and if you don't want to go with the crowd and worship the dictator they will kick you and cut your neck so there's two ways of the dictator to survive terror and that's Muhammad he said he himself he said I've been victorious by terror he was not victorious by love and the propaganda Allah and his angels they are Rain to Muhammad. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to cut your head. So now there is two things will strike you. Terror, you don't want your family to be slaughtered, raped, and killed, and be enslaved. And the other thing is, okay, he's a dictator. What we can do? We can't even discuss. So we better surrender. This is why many naive ones, they think that the word Islam means to submit. The word Islam has nothing to do with the word submit. It means surrender. You surrender to Allah. You don't, you don't believe. This is why if you go in the Quran, you will see the Quran says that the Arab, the, the, the Arab, the Bedouin, they say we believe. You don't believe. Muhammad said to them, don't say we believe, say we are Muslims. Don't say we are believe. Chapter 49, verse number 14. And here you see the false translation. They say we uh, uh, say we have submitted. So imagine those people believe never entered their heart, but yet the Quran is saying to them, Don't say we believe, say we are Muslims. In Arabic, it says it clearly, we are Muslims. Say we are Muslim. Don't say we believe. For believe never enter your heart. So how in the world, what kind of religion you are saying to them, you are a Muslim, but you are not a believer? Unless this cult is a cult of terrorism. To understand what happened here, Muhammad, he sent a threat in chapter 48, verse number 11, saying to them that those who lag behind the Arab, the desert Arab, the Bedouin, they will say 
uh, we are busy with our family etc we don't want to join Islam and do jihad but do you know what you are going to face people of terror we are going to kill you all if you do convert to Islam and that is in chapter 48 verse number 11 the 16 sorry say to the desert Arab say to them the one who lag behind you shall be summoned to fight against the people people of mighty war they will kill you all so either you shall submit or surrender or we will kill you and then when they submit submit or surrender he said to them don't say don't you cannot fool us you don't believe you surrender to Islam because of our terror so don't say we believe say we are Muslims so you don't have to be you don't have to be a believer in Islam to be a Muslim you can be a Muslim and you are not a believer Allah here saying to them supposedly the desert Arabs say we believe would be what what they say we believe so what is the objection you have no faith okay hold on so how they became Muslims because of fear and Allah here saying to them don't say we believe say we are Muslims if we change the translation here this is the translation of who uh, Yusuf Ali let us choose another idiot uh, which one which one which one I like this website but they didn't make it simple to find okay Shakir okay Shakir says submit let us see big tal the correct translation is to say we surrender those guys saying submit too hmm. let us show you another website hold on <clears throat> all right we go and we see yeah this is Mohsen Khan look what Mohsen Khan he say uh, you see say you believe not you only say we have surrender this is what Islam means surrender not submit for faith never enter your heart so the question how those Muslims became Muslims and why the Quran saying to them say you are Muslims how you can be a Muslim yet you are not a believer that because Islam is satanic you do not need to believe in Allah to be a Muslim just say Shahada that's just surrender surrender to Muhammad the devil who care if you are a believer or not just say Shahada give your soul to the devil you don't believe in the devil but you fear him right okay give him your soul surrender that is islam my friend anyway uh i hope that's today we have a good time and we learn something good we will try to be on air again tomorrow um don't forget uh, if you like what we do here to uh, give it a like if you don't like it give it unlike <laughs> very simple and don't forget to tell your friends about what we do this is a free school for everybody here you don't waste your time every second we spend we learn and the lord he said read the books search them look for the truth the truth will set you free and he is the truth I am the Alpha I am the Omega I am the resurrection I am the life and the light I am 
who I am. And that is Jesus the Christ, my friend. The good God, the good Lord, the good shepherd. Why you call me good when you know only God is good? I am the good shepherd. So we follow the best of the best, and there's no name better than his name above the earth or in heaven. See you tomorrow, if I could. Until then, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And thank you very much for being with us for this night. Take care.